Hello? Oh, there we go. Oh my god, sorry guys. Okay, so welcome again. 15 minutes. <laughs> Talking alone. Fuck me. Sorry, sorry. Okay. So again, welcome everybody. Uh, Tuesday stream, blah, 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 blah. Oh my god, I have to tell, I have to say everything again. All right, so let's go, let's go for, let's go, let's go, let's go again. Uh, first of all, I want to say hi to Azrael, <laughs> a, a, a fellow streamer, he streams Legacy uh, during the nights, I believe, and this is the first time he is able to tune into my stream. Second of all, I want to um, well, welcome everybody and uh, as, for, as for your apologies, because last week I couldn't stream on Thursday. Because I was on a call with uh, Jorg, aka Ron Redless. We wanted to discuss some things regarding the showcase, and I didn't, I didn't have, like, you know, I didn't want to make a stream of like, just one hour, and then, and then I, ha I, would be, I would be forced to shut down the stream, so I, I chose to not stream on Thursday. And then, um, as you notice, I didn't stream Saturday or Sunday, that's because I didn't get to uh, gather all my QPs, so sadly I, I wasn't able to play on the showcase. Okay, that out of the way. <laughs> um, ba -ba 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 -ba. Yeah, I was talking about the list. Um, <laughs> I'm going to repeat it all, everything again. So I was talking about the list. Uh, new thing on the list are the cars. Um, the cars, or goblin buses, or hearses, however you want to call them. Um, they are really good anti-graveyard hedge. Um, anti-graveyard hedge that dodges a fair amount of creature hate. So it's a very interesting card because you can just put it on the put it on play turn two. Like ideally you want to put it into play turn two uh or three if you want to play around days. And it's gonna it's gonna keep most of, most of the time it's gonna keep your opponent's graveyard under control. The only scenario w where those are not really useful and you want the full endurance layout is uh against super fast combo. Um because you because it's just too slow, right? Turn two, turn two, remove two cards is, is, is not legacy speed. But it's good against all the matches. For example, against Delver, it's really good. Delver doesn't have a way to remove it. The best, way, the best thing they can do right now is bounce it with a Borrower. Um, it's possible for it to become like a 10-10 like, you know, like or a 12-12. It's not... It's, I've done it uh, on leagues. So it's not, it's not uh, I, um, unreal. And then... So basically, what's it, what's doing is delaying the more tide, right? Delaying the more tide. So I don't think this this me means you are allowed to not play in removal, but maybe you can be more selective with your your removal. Exactly. Interesting inevitability. Then another another angle of use, or another another way you can use it is, for example, for the for the Jeskai 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 uh, matches. Uh, it dodges their verdict. It dodges their plows. So they have to hit it with uh, with prismatic ending, and prismatic ending I would say is on a premium on the Jeskai matchup because prismatic ending wants to hit grist and wants to hit choke. So for every prismatic ending they use on the hears, I'm I'm gonna be happy. Um, and if they don't, well, at some point it's going to be um, it's going to be a big guy swinging for maybe six, eight, or ten. You think it's better than scavenging news? I don't know. Newton is testing right now scavenging news. That's why I send the new the link, guys. Why do, why do you think I was sending links? <laughs> All right. So this is Newton's YouTube channel. He just made a stream yesterday, uh, featuring double scavenging news. He's testing it lately, and he's debating if he wants the car. He's not sure, so he's like testing. Um, the car has been pretty good to me. I think scavenging news. It's maybe a little slow, but I, maybe it's good. Uh, for sure on the main deck, on the main deck slot for the Graveyard Hate, I do like the Endurance better. So the argument would be maybe cut a trap, maybe cut a trap for the, um, for the extra ooze or for the Endurance. That's, uh, that, those are the considerations. Um, I test, uh, you know, I want to be conv convinced by my own testing, not not by others testing. So Newton often relies on what other people tell him to, uh, like all, what other people tell them tell him um, how a card has felt. And oftentimes, if he doesn't get enough positive feedback, probably he he will not test it. But I'm fine testing whatever bullshit you throw me to. So that's fine. 
Uh, okay, so that's that's about the updates on the list. Uh, for anybody who missed the last couple of streams, uh, we moved uh, Archon to the sideboard, and as of today, I'm off Archon completely. So far, I've missed it a couple of times, but uh, mm, on the matchups where you really think it matters the most, most of the times you're good just yes, hoofing for non-lethal. For example, Ant or Tess, if they're gonna if they're gonna unnosium you. If you just make a hoof, even if it's non-lethal, it's gonna be enough so they fizzle. So I don't know. I think it's a, it's, it's still something uh, that's being tested. I'm not sure about it. What I'm very happy about is the double bridge lore and for Shepard. Shepard's been winning min games like crazy. Uh okay, so that's about the list. Yeah, yeah. I th I think that too, because you know everybody has different games. Everybody plays in slightly different meta games. For example, maybe on the American uh, time zone, there are other other type of decks. And this time, so maybe you can you play. You buy foil snuff yet? Yes, <laughs> I can show you. Yeah. All right, and so then after that, I was uh, talking about the the, to the showcase, and I was just uh, going through the top eight. Who made the top eight of the showcase? Which was, you know, Triple Delver. Which was uh, Triple Delver. Are you going to Four Seasons? Probably, yes. Um, so, yeah, Triple Delver, Jeskai Control winning, winning the tournament, winning the event, uh, Blood Moon Agro deck, uh, Cephalic Breakfast piloted by Javier Dominguez, Goblins by Goblin Lucky, aka Eli Goblins. Shout out to him. And Slivers by Daniel Nunes, also shout out to him. Yeah, so that's a very interesting top eight. Um, yeah, we, we, I think a, lot, a, a big chunk of the legacy community is going there. If you haven't uh, made your reservation yet about the tournament entry, I recommend you doing it because probably the slots will be tight, right? Okay, so uh, yeah. As I told you on last Thursday, we had like a we had like a, um, a little talk with uh, George. And we were trying to like um, we were trying to like uh, foresee or predict the meta game that was going to be on the showcase, and comes up comes out that we were pretty uh, on point, right? So there were no to nobody nobody surprise uh, making up to. Making up to a uh, twenty six percent of the meta game of the showcase, so that's, I mean, all the showcase been is been uh, almost thirty percent. So I would say is acceptable levels of Delver <laughs> for a, for a really really big event because most of uh, multi format grinders when they switch into Legacy, uh, they will switch to Delver or or similar strategies. Um, this time, what I noticed is a fair amount of eight cast. So I was not expecting 8Cast to have 8%, almost 9% representation of the showcase. That's um, that's some, something good uh, uh, for elves. The reason for this is this is this one. Um, the kappa has fallen up to <laughs> 6 6.74 ticks. So whatever Wizards, WotC, MTGO was doing, trying to retouch the price of kappa, kappa has gone from 110 so the most expensive has been been 150 to now 7 bucks right so 8 cast definitely is super affordable to play on modo and it's re it's a really good deck um it it plays a full 8 copies of force force effects it plays chalice it has good clock has decent game against combo decks puts pressure can stomp through control decks with the turtle and ward mechanic. So I think it's a really good deck and it's really good for elves, right? Because it's basically a buy for us. So really good. Um, then the other not 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 uh, surprising appearance is the sky, right? So the sky, ten percent of the meta share, you know, the sky. Exactly, exactly, and yeah. So back to topic. Back to topic. I completely agree. So I was, I was just saying that um, 
multiformat grinders will usually default to Delver decks for big events, but uh, on this event I saw at least three or four uh, grinders that is usually on Modern that came to Legacy to the Legacy Showcase, and they slipped, well, slipped, you know, slipped friend, however you want to call it. They chose, their, their, their deck of choice was 8-cast. Uh, not doing too shabby, like 48% win rate overall. Meh, I would say. Elf did far worse, <laughs> for what it's worth, but also less pilots. Um, so the best performers of the events, uh, Blood Moon Agro, with an impressive, impressive, impressive 60, almost 64% win rate. Do you think Painter will be hard because of that? No, I don't think so. I think, I think going forward, uh, like this is a specific, I think this is a specific metagame for the big events, not for challenges or even leagues. So you don't see, you don't see, uh, eight cast. Like, like if you go, if you go to the previous challenges, let me make this smaller. If you go to the previous challenges, okay, so eight cast is, um, grouped up on the Stompy category. So if you go under Stompy, for example, the last three challenges, Stompy's got less than 8% appearance. Right, so that's really, really, that's a really low amount, uh, and you have to, you have to, you have to count all the other archetypes into Stompy as well, right? So that means that eight cast is being less than six, less than seven, less than four percent, but then suddenly you see on the showcase uh, rising up to ten percent. Well, something's going on there, right? Yeah, let me redo, guys. Do you think paper will be hard because of that? Painter, no, I don't think paper will be hard. I mean, maybe the, maybe some extra copy of Force of Vigor can can be um, can be like um, collateral damage for Painter, but yeah. Dredge Factor, I mean, Dredge Factor, yeah, the Dredge Factor you're talking about, so I don't know if, if that's what you mean, but Dredge, uh, Graveyard Strategies, I'm sure they have, they all had pretty good win rates. Because overall the metagame was not ex was not prepared to beat uh, graveyard decks, so okay. So reanimator eight players, yeah, not doing too good. There was some dredge player, one dredge player at sixty two percent, and just very few very few storm slash combo players. So one test this guy dropped. I think this was Ryan Cook, uh, and and. Three three pilots on end play at fifty eight percent win rate, so pretty pretty good result. So I think going forward, what, what we can expect for the big events is something similar to this, right? So only specialist specialist pilots pick up the the combo decks, the specialist desk specialist decks, what I will, what I like to call them, which would be end um, test, and at some at up to some point, Reanimator too, because everybody can play Reanimator, just not everybody can win with Reanimator, I would say. Uh, knowing how to mulligan is a, a skill to develop playing that deck, and playing around hate is not that easy. Um, hate cast is like Dredge, in that if you don't have dedicated hate, it just rolls over you, is what I mean. Yeah, it kind of kind, kind of does, right? But the, I think it was actually a good choice, a pretty good choice for the format, for the current meta uh, state of the meta game, because it kind, it kind of, it has kind of good game against uh, Jeskai and decent against Delver, while not being super, um, super weak to 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 spell combo because they run the Force of Wills and Force of Negations. So yeah, so expected meta game, right? I mean. The rest of the decks were, you know, you, you can see, right? One copy, three copies, two copies, three copies, like really, really low, low numbers. Um, yeah, this guy's 17, there were a lot of people. Jorion seen it. I'm surprised not to see more people on Jorion seen it because, like, should be, it should be the, like the natural predator of Delver. But yeah, let me just check that out, actually. So we can check Jorion seen it. How did Jorion Sinet do against Delver? Okay, so Jorion Sinet did pretty good. 60% uh, win rate against Delver. So, I mean, who has 60% win rate against Delver? Few decks have that, right? So here, Lance did really good against Delver. Um, and it was only single, one single player. Band control, same type. 
Blood Moon Agro, that's why Blood Moon Agro is picking up popularity because it's really good. Uh, Cephalic Breakfast is basically Cephalic Breakfast is basically a Stoneblade deck with the combo, the combo built in it. So you can expect Stoneblade also uh, doing pretty good against Delver. Uh, exactly, 60%. So actually, a lot of people doing good against Delver. I, I guess just it's only the the minority of the people playing these decks. So that's why the performance was not that good. <clears throat> How viable do you think it's Aluren? Um I don't really know the, how the, how consistent the combo is. Uh, if you want to ask to someone, I would ask to. Rodrigo Togores, aka Sharkaster Mage. I think he has a this a Discord. If you if you send a prime a prime subscription to his Twitch, you will have instant access to to the Discord. And I know he answers. Actually, I, I can link you guys to his Discord. Give me a second. He's a, a good friend of mine too. Um. Okay, let me get it. Okay, invite. Yeah. So apparently, invites are disabled. Um. In order to enter the uh, the his Discord, you need to yeah, you need to basically I think subscribe to his channel or you know whatever. But I know there he he answers questions from from his followers, viewers, whatever. Okay, so to wrap it up, um, basically the meta game that was expected, a lot of Delver like in all uh, all of the big events, Moonstompy was like kind of expected to have a um a good chunk of percentage and uh, for me personally the unexpected was um uh, eight cast like eight cast being at nine percent meta game i think this is gonna be going forward um a deck of choice of many of many multi-format grinders i think because sequencing is fairly fairly simple uh in the context of legacy of course so you know it's hard but it's not as hard as all those things it's for sure it's, it's, it's easier than playing Delver, I think. And it has pretty good game against uh, across the board against all the meta games. So that's the review of the showcase. If you are interested in watching some reviews of the, of round by round, I know uh, Goblin Lucky Eli Goins made um, uh, made a stream yesterday, um, and he. He went through all his eight rounds, so yeah, I, I, I'm just linking you to this to his YouTube. Uh, oh, to to to, I mean to Togores. Yes, sure. So it should be um, uh, Sharkaster. No, Togores. Togores TGC. No, okay. Give me a moment. Let me let me grab. Let me grab it. Streams. So I'm sending you to his YouTube. Uh, probably he has it linked at, at some at some somewhere there. Okay. Um, so we go back to the list. Um, th this is what we're going to play today. Probably we, if we have time, we play two leagues. Uh, we can make an adjustment. Um, mm, with the main deck, I'm pretty happy. I don't think I'm gonna. Add I don't think I will change anything going forward or in the near future. Uh, sideboard. As always, right? You These things I'm not willing to change. 100% uh, no. And these six slots could be could be moved around, I think. But as you have seen, on a metagame where this guy control is so prominent or control, the control decks itself made up up to 20 Twenty percent of the meta game. I think choke is a really, really good option, even if we're not bringing in in uh, for the Delver matchup. Choke is already stronger and it just wins games on its own. So, that being said, let's play a league. Let me open up my spreadsheet. So, any questions you have regarding the showcase or you, anything you want to know? 
uh, I think was a pretty nice event uh, with good representations of um, out of strong pilots. So I think uh, it was it was pretty cool. Okay. So opponent found. Let me make the. Uh, yeah, it's one main, two sideboards. So we're playing three endurance total. Later. We're playing Baku. Okay. So yeah, a good a good delivered opponent definitely. Um, let's see how we do. <laughs> okay, this is a mole again. <laughs> okay, so I guess we can keep this. It's not great, but if I don't, I don't really want to go lower um, to five. So I'm gonna put down the hoof, use one position to bait the wasteland, and see where we go from there. It's not really that great. At least it's gonna be good, good, um, good practice, good uh, testing grounds for his. <laughs> yeah, Bago here, teasing me. He's surprised that I play elves, and I say, "Yeah, I'm new in the business." <laughs> okay, so that's not about draw actually. Okay, so here we can just. I mean, we can go. I think here we have to go for the greedy line, which is just play fetch pass. Uh, hope this heritage survives, and we end of turn try to make a dryad. We don't really care if it survives or not, and then we try to glimpse with three else, which is. Probably pretty hard. So let's give him a chance to like play the second land and maybe iteration or that's okay, actually. Okay, he didn't want to wasteland out of the way, it's fine. Okay, so no bolts to be expected this game. Um this turn, sorry. Let's see, we're gonna get it's a little bit risky play, but I think even our hand we don't like our hand doesn't do that anything else. Okay, so next turn, mm, turn three, he bubbled. So he wants to cast some cantrips next turn, probably. I think. So here we can either either cycle cycle the glimpse with the shepherd. But I think I'm gonna go for just play this and once and once upon a time end of turn. See what see what happens. Should be okay. We're we'll casting some cantrips here. Ah, any song requests you guys want, you can send on chat, and we can put them play them on Spotify. So anything you want to hear too, send me the link or name of the song. That should be okay. Okay, so here really the best would be like, that he plays another threat. For us, and the worst case scenario would be Bolt. It's a Bolt on the Arbor, which is fine. Okay, so now we are probably on a super bad spot. We need to top deck something good. He has active delirium already thanks to the bubble. Could be dazed. Yeah, we moved to a really, really weak hand, so I'm not surprised that we lo lose him one. Um, the macro approach to this matchup would be that you should be winning game one because you don't have sweepers. So you can go like free style, free fold. You can play all your dudes. 
but as you have seen here, we we didn't have the luxury to do that. Um, best draw here would be, I think, Cradle. If we draw Cradle, we can start a chain. There we go. Easy. So let's start. Let's try to draw something. Creature, please. That's a creature. Team build. Ooh, that was that, that was too fancy. Okay, uh, I'm fine. Drawing two cards. We are threatening. We can activate for. Yeah, we can actually bash next turn, and he has to attack with uh, DRC. So probably here he should play a Mordecai or some, or maybe lose the Lirio somehow to be able to block. We can play land pump next turn. So it was a bad draw, but at least we we are threatening to do something next turn. Remember, it's game one, so no one the festivities, no, uh, I don't know, submerge. <laughs> Let me write down, we drew two cards. That should be a Murk Tide. Yeah, a Murk Tide. No one surprised either. <laughs> That's not a bad draw. That's actually quite good because we can. So with the Cradle, it's free. And we can. So we can block whatever, whatever they. Um, Whatever they block with the mock tie, we can block it. So yeah, we have to fetch here. So let's get in there. Got a block. Okay. So we pump. So we're getting 15 damage, which is pretty nice. Bad news is we can't replay the Shepherd, but that's okay. So now let's see how we react. Um, Symbi Symbiote is refreshed now. That means we can dodge one bolt. Or rather, he needs two bolts to get rid of one elf. Uh, so best play for him probably would be play play more bodies, board right, has to block us. Because we are after all in a two turn clock. So as is right now, we we're presenting lethal. He has to kill something, and he goes to it. He owes iteration. Okay, so something I want to mention here. Newton often says that playing the four shepherds is a liability, and I understand and I agree to him, but it's, you, you don't have to like neglect the amount of free wins the shepherd gives you, for example, in the control matchups, or even in Delver matchups. So there's, there's some percentage of free win, 100% uh, uh, on shepherd.
Okay, so if he finds Bolt here, we're dead. Okay, so yeah, Delver doing Delver things. Yeah, he has found a land and Bolt of the Expressive, and we're dead. So GG. All right, so game one loss. Uh, sideboarding, as I told you, is we uh, get out the natural order plan. We bring in two snaps, the two endurances, and two hears. Let's see how that performs. And uh, we cut. Collector of and we the last cut is a once upon a time. I know Newton doesn't like to cut the once upon a time. I don't like it either. But I think we need like critical mass. We need to be hitting creatures every turn. And in this matchup specifically, I think a hand with double like in most of matchups, in most matchups when you have the time to cast double once upon a time, that like you hard cast and host up uh, once upon a time number two, three, four, whatever. In this specific matchup, drawing two in the opener, it's it's likely you a loss so i think um cutting one makes some sense yeah that that statement makes a lot of sense Adrian. that statement makes a lot of sense okay so we open our double here hand with only one land and sadly i think we have to mulligan this this is, this is really sad because if one of these two would be a land this would be a super sick hand La can we save i will save you not really, but say you contributes to the one of initial mana sources. We are we don't we, we can't really afford to not make land drops. So we are another mulligan. Okay, okay. This one we keep in. This one we keep in for sure. Um and I think So we have to put back an elf. It's gonna be the droid, I think. So the plan here it's gonna be I I mean I've I've tried, right? I've tried, I've been also tested, I've also tested um quadruple once upon a time setting. And if you open double like it, this this same hand if you're on a mulligan to six, you open a hand with double once upon a time, that's a mulligan Im immediately. Right, so here the plan is a slam, slam, slam. So it's going to be turn one, greens and send it, you want to daze it. Turn two, here's, you want to force it. Turn three, and the runs, you want to force it. It's going to be that way. Um, I, I would pick any of the creatures. Those are really nice, but I think we have to pick the land here. Like, th this arbor is li most likely going to get bolted. Bolted, dazed, forced. Yeah, you see this? Yeah, force, forcing the greens and. For zero, that's yeah, all right. So, first two for one in. Let's keep going. DRC, cool. Next, hmm. Yeah, I still like the his. So, let's play the car, the goblin bath. It resolves, nice. All right, so this is going to be an interesting game. This is a good setup already. Those DRCs are going to stay on one for a while. That wasteland hurts us a little bit. So we need lands now, right now, to function. Mm-hmm. 
So here is going to slow their game plan by a lot. It's not going to be able to slow it permanently, but it's going to buy us a few turns and a few, like a few turns because of the lane mortite and a few turns because of the reduced clock of the DRCs. So if you want to make the count, yeah. So we we see here the, uh, the exile cards of the of the goblin bats. So we will we'll be keeping track of that. That, that initial force really hurt us too, or also our mana development. So being on the same turn with two mana would mean that we have access to three mana next turn with shepherd protection for the endurance. So our plan of turn one bomb, turn two bomb, turn three bomb is a little bit like stopped for the moment, but that's okay. We're going to be able to crew the Hears after this turn. So it looks like a completely different deck without the without the gra the graveyard the graveyard fuel, right? All right, so it's a it's a four four so far. Uh, remember that crew is insta speed. That's an awesome draw. That could be stifled because Baku is that kind of guy. Told you. Still, we have we have the crew ability, the crew the crew option available for us, so that's okay. We're not gonna we're not gonna tap the um, the shepherd because we want to be able to crew. Yeah, right. Imagine. Hey Punishing, welcome. If you if you have any suggestions for music, you're welcome to send me any song. So the goal here is that he's not aware of the insta speed crew. <laughs> we can maybe block if he keeps chipping in with the the assist. But probably gonna cast another spell and gonna go get delirium now. See you. Right, he's bolting. Okay, he's bolting. Hold the first. So the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna crew. Sadly, we cannot block. Okay, he has just everything. My god. Okay. Uh, okay, so what, what is the creature type we need to exile here? I believe it's creature itself. Uh, could be instant. Yeah, we could take instant too. And it's better for multi purposes. So let's do that. Um, he loses the Lyrium, but we cannot do the trick because you cannot declare blockers until you lose flying. So that is okay. Hey Robert. Okay, so here's already a 6-6. Six, six. Uh, we, we cannot crew it yet. That is the bad part. Okay, now we can crew it actually. So let's see if he's not aware of that. Trick again. But you, I, I mean, I think you can already see the impact of this card on the game, right? So, of course, with double DRC active, you know the graveyard, it's mm, gonna be... It's gonna be 
well well filled, right? To some capacity. But still the game is so 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 much more different. So by 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 now on a, on any other game the multi would not have been put on the bin. We would have a resolved multi and this game would look so much different. Hey Toma. Hello. So this is like really hard right now. So again, the the card giving them the delirium is either instant, either instant or Morgtide. Um, so are they attacking here? Okay, so I think we're not gonna crew that right now. We're just gonna keep them off delirium again. I'm gonna start eating sorceries now. So we could have. No, we could not. That's okay. Yeah, we need to find we need to find uh, mana to cast the endurance. Here's is is really, but I mean, say Can you see? And can you see how how it impacts the game? Like it's already turn five. We are operating on one mana, and it's all thanks to the here's. So now we can bash. So we can we can fetch for Arbor. But I think I want to keep it. Because this so we have a choice. Either go for Arbor so we can crew the Hears or go for Bayou and deal with the multi. The multi is <laughs> the, the, the multi is in the realm of possibility, right? So I think the might be the moment to uh exile the ponder, so maybe the multi is only a four four. We'll see. But definitely you can tell the Hears is slowing them by a lot. <laughs> yeah, exactly, right? So it's already so it's a it's an eight eight. If we if we if we crew it any at any point in the game, it's gonna be an eight eight. <laughs> yeah, so he finds bubble, which is a problem. I mean, he beams bubble, sorry. Not the same. Uh, okay. We are on a pretty healthy life total, too. And what we really need is a cradle. We need lands, right? But he ha we have lost one, two, three. Like three lands and a it. We can erode the endurance crew here with sack trigger on the stack, then bash. We just need to make sure we're not getting stifled. Yeah, that's an option too. But then we lose access to snuff out. So I think um I'm gonna wait. So if I if I if I'm taking two two per turn, I'm quote unquote okay with it. I like to I'd like to find the extra mana. So so I'm, what I'm really afraid of right now it's a morgue tide, right? Because if I do that and go get Arbor to crew, then I lose access to black and I cannot answer a morgue tide. If we do evoke the endurance, though, as you said, endurance itself can evoke the hears. So that is pretty nuts. That is pretty nuts. No, no, no. Getting uh, getting to eighteen, eighteen is not impossible. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So I get you now, uh, Azrael. You mean to en evoke endurance and just get the, just get the like cr crew the hears with the endurance. Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay. I got it now. Yeah, yeah. I mean, these lines are also new for me. Uh, I am not a limited player, so I am. I have zero experience playing with the crew mechanic, and I think it's pretty hard. <laughs> so here. Yeah, actually, that's 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 looking better and better the more I think about it. Yes, crew assistant, which is super cool. For example, you can crew with uh, something I tested is you can crew with a symbiote and still use symbiote's ability. So crewing with creatures, um, crewing, crewing with creatures doesn't make you not being able to use the creatures. That makes sense. Okay, she's so gonna. Clear the shepherd here. 
So I think we are gonna evoke the endurance now, as Azrael suggested, so we can so we can do it uncomfortably, right? But definitely, it's a it's a wild game. We could also. Right. So you have to put this on the stack. Uh, priority. Okay, so I can crew now with the endurance. And I can um, fetch for Bayou. So, okay, so here the thing is if I go for Bayou to deal with the other DLC, I think that's the play actually. So I think so we're gonna be we're gonna be empty, right? But I think clearing the board is uh, yeah, but but it doesn't let you block uh, Sadre. Okay, so evoke is we're gonna let that resolve. We have room to to do this with the Bayou. Okay, so graveyard is gone. Your guys lose flying. Yes. Yes. Sure. Yeah. It's sad, but it is what it is. Okay. So you have done it on the attack step, I'm realizing just now. So maybe I want to go for Bayou now and re get rid of one of the DRCs, I think. Yeah, I think I'm going to do that. Yeah, that was that was a pun by me. Yeah, Baku agrees the the car is pretty good. Oh my god. Okay, so we cannot do anything here. Yeah, it's not incidental, I think. <laughs> Triple mana, Delve player, sure. Iteration, all right. You got it. Yeah, so we definitely could have made that better. I just, I was, I was distracted. Sorry, guys. So at this point, we could be in a board state where they had literally zero DRCs. Take W. All right. Triple DRC. Oh my god. Uh. Could you have sided the Lightning Bolt? What do you mean? By the way, hello, Carl. What do you mean? I don't get you. Probably yes. If you're asking, probably the answer is yes. <laughs> if you're asking, the most likely answer is yes. I could have done it, but I just didn't do it. All right. So what do we get here? Ba -ba 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 -bum. So it's a one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. It's a ten, ten. It's a casual ten, ten right now. Casual ten, ten. Okay, so now we gotta do it. I'm not going to buy you two. Days? Are you really keeping a days on turn eight? I mean, probably yes. Mm, after I crude, yes. Yeah, probably yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, 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 I totally forgot. Sorry, sorry. So this is looking like a loss, but I think it's good testing and it's good feature. It's a good feature matchup for the hears, right? So we are basically 
force him to kill us with one once, <laughs> which is pretty nuts if you think about it. Yikes. Okay, so how many how many instants? Okay, so now we have to attack what the bubble and the expressive. So okay, that's three instants, one sorcery, two sorceries. So now it's bubble or bust. We need to get the bubble. No creature. Cool. Yeah, exactly, right? So that's the point. So I know I want some hears. Some, some number of hears in my deck. I just don't know how many. Um, it's... So, answering your question, is the same as a, a, a scavenginous? It's the same, but it's not, because this is playing on a different angle whole game. It's dodging bolts for eight turns. You're not you're not worried about it getting bolted, so it's pretty good. Do, but yes, of course, this is magic and nothing's free, right? If you're cutting endurances, you're probably getting softer to to combo. So yeah, sure, it's gonna be. I mean, so I have to get what? The bubble on something else? Well, we can get the double sorcery too, which is pretty neat. Yeah, exactly, right. Ulz also needs mana, which we are starving in the Delver matchup. <laughs> like, what the hell? <laughs> 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12, 12. It's a 12, 12. Okay. Yeah, okay. So he had just another... Oh my god. He has another sorcery in the top. To oh my god. So lucky. I mean, it's Delver doing Delver things, right? Yeah, we died, basically. But this, you know, eight turns without anything else. Anyways. <laughs> okay, so... Oh one, one but good, with a good feature matchup, I would say. No problem. So, back to the deck list. The problem here... Yeah, exactly, right? Ooze would have, would have been the, even, the, even, even... Not even close to the same value, right? The only problem with here's is... So, Ooze is a good top deck. On, on on almost every stage of the game because if you have mana on the mid mid to late game, you can cast it activated instantly, which is the ideal situation. Uh, here's on the contrary is a card that gets better, gets more value as the turn goes by. So the best situation is what we just saw here, uh, played early on and get value over time, accrue value over time, as, as uh, JC would say. Um, if you are, if you are wondering, uh, I'm going to tell you some bad news, some bad news. It's spiking again, right? So this is the normal version promo foil. Normal version, it's at 15. This morning when I last checked was 14. So this is spiking slowly. Um, if you want to get them. I think as people would pick up on the um, on how good this card is, uh, it's gonna go slowly upwards. So it's like opposing to Shredder, which um, so Shredder is already at lol. <laughs> what? Let me screenshot this. Fifty two. What the heck? What? The heck? Wait, wait.
Oh my God. Okay. So what I was saying, like this one is a spiking, but people still haven't found a super good shell when you can get all the juice out of it. While the here is the, is the opposite. Um, so out of the, look, look, this is actually pretty interesting. Uh, out of the eight decks of the top eight, um, I think some Delvers played the Hears on the sideboard. Uh, Kadrin, uh, Eli played on the main deck and Daniel Nunes played on the sideboard too. So I'd say, I'd say if I, th I think it, I think the Hears has potential to keep spiking. Yeah, true. Let's go. Okay, blue, big, no, bacon, lettuce, tomato. Let me add it to the spreadsheet first. Uh, according to my records, this player plays Swift Reconfiguration. I think we keep this. If we find one drop, I mean, I, I'm okay with. I mean, it's a four. If a five for lander, four lander even because it's bulk, I don't know. Yeah, I think we can do better on six. Yeah, okay, that's much better. <laughs> Not gonna lie, okay, that's much better. Uh, also remember that we moved uh, on the Delver games. We moved. Uh, we moved both games, so that's um, that's something right there. So here we need land. Well, I'm not gonna lie, we need cradle. We really need cradle, so we're gonna pick it up. It's gonna be Bayou. Okay, so yeah, let's see if my record is accurate and this player plays a swift reconfiguration. If that's the case, we're gonna be missing the force of biggers. Are uh, we gonna be happy to run triple triple Poseidon instead of two Poseidon only? Mm, okay, but you could be anything. Okay, that 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 could be fifth reconfiguration still. So we want that's not what we wanted. Um but yeah, I guess we can pass on the glimpse. Play the cradle end of turn once. We can get in for one for free. No, 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 no. So, say, did did, did, did did they sell you the the hearses? Are you buying? <laughs> okay, let's see what's going on here. So, so far it could be right because there's white mana, there's green mana. Could be, could be. Huh. <laughs> Like in paper, okay, I think we can switch while this person decides what to do. Um, could be reconfig, could be alluring. Yeah, could be. Okay, so in in Europe, at least, let, let's check the price of the of the Goblin Bass. It's working. He doesn't want to low. So this this side often crashes. Or due to maintenance or whatever. Okay, so here's 
so here in Europe, the heres is costing. <laughs> LOL! It's already on four bucks. LOL on foil. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay, okay. That's good money right there. That's good money right there. All right, back to the game. Yeah, definitely it's a it's a it's a classic game when you can even even if you lost, you can tell that the the card had pretty high impact. So yeah. Trophy. Trophy. Yeah, trophy could be anything really. Have one elf. Yeah, I think we still pick the symbiote, I think. So we're gonna be able to pump our mana with the uh, with Gris help uh, Gris help. Are you still missing endurances? I think you should get Okay, so this is definitely a glimpse. We pass on the grist and try to glimpse here. Pass on the grist, sorry, not on the glimpse. So if we draw elf at any point here, we have two shots at, at drawing elf. That's better, even. So one more shot to draw elf. If not, we just cycle it with the symbiote redraw. That's that's okay. So that's that's uh three cards of a glimpse, which is pretty nice. We still haven't made the land drop. Nah, that's okay. I don't think they can swift reconfiguration as the, the following turn, so that's that's fine. Uh they are at seventeen, which is one one point shy of lethal next turn, but we can, we can grist, we can glimpse grist plus grist, play second cradle and natural order them for full full profit. Okay, let me write that down. Uh, two that was two no three cards drawn from the glimpse. It was shepherd symbiote and bounced shepherd. Eee. That's okay. So that's three more damage we have to go through. They are full tap, they made a land drop. Yeah, I think we got it. So the plan... Okay, one less point of damage we have to go through. Yeah, that's uh, super lethal, that we are fine. So the plan stays. Uh, ideally, we would like to not... So we can... Uh, so we cannot. Okay, how to say it? 
So if we can avoid casting plus in the grips, would be the best line because we can risk milling the hoof. So I'm gonna go for the um, for the once upon a time here. Uh, trying to find so you have to find a one drop of the top five cards. Or a two drop. Or a three drop. Anything it's fine. We're gonna get the bridge lore. Play the bridge lore. Second rail down. That's not what order. Fetch also. Oh yeah, fetch would have also have worked. Okay, that should be it. Yes, Grease worked, but Grease have the 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 um, um, Grease have the um, the small percentage of um, milling the hoof if the hoof was on top, and this line didn't risk it, so I chose not to risk it. It has. <laughs> When you have, when you're running single hoof for uh, for center time, you you try to try to take care of these things. <laughs> okay, so we got the game one. That's fine. Yeah, what if you mill the hoof, Tedra, on that single plus? Right. Okay, so this looks like some greens and any toolbox. So I guess the snuff out is gonna be super premium. The reverse top deck, <laughs> exactly right. Um, did we saw Tropical Island? Like he was playing the game so slow, I don't remember. What were they? His lands were Bayou and what else? Bayou. We did see Trop. So would you guys bring in the? Um, would you guys bring in the choke here? So we're setting out definitely this. We keep in because of Ballista. Uh, if it's if it's book colors, sorry, band colors, blue green color, we're gonna keep the bug just as a countermeasure to Udo. So probably we can cut. We saw we saw Leo Vol, so we can cut maybe one glimpse, one VCO. Or, I mean, these two cuts would be nice. I mean, this would be acceptable. No, no Archon. I'm I, I'm like almost second week without Archon. Okay, so we can try the chokes definitely. That seems okay. The problem of progenitus is in the in the in the turn it's summon sick. If they if they assemble the combo, you're dead. So the the that the, the swift reconfiguration combo doesn't give you a, a turn. This hand is pretty good. Well I think we keep him. Exactly right. <laughs> it's the it's the as you said, right? The inverse top deck rule. <laughs> it's ne it never fails. Yeah, we're gonna look like fools if we cast a choke on a bayou. So opponent, you might as well go get the tropical. <laughs> Please. <laughs> Please fetch for blue, for blue mana, opponent. Be nice.
Aluren could be Aluren, but I'm not sure. To, I'm not sure to be honest. Like on this spot, we know they play Leovold. Um, I'm gonna take this window to draw two cards, and we will see. So ideally, the best draw here is uh, Druid. That's a good draw too. I mean, two cards is really good. Could be Aluren, could be Swift, could be... Yeah, the fourth color is what's throwing me to, like... It's... So, okay, so it's a 60-card deck that, that runs Greens and Senate Package. And... Hierarch? So Hierarch is what is putting me off, really. Because if they didn't run Hierarch and they ran, like, uh, Birds of Paradise, it would be, I would definitely put them on Aluren. Or Nick Fate, or you know, toolbox, toolbox, Green uh, Sensei toolbox, toolboxy deck. Okay, they are right now. They are releasing some spoilers. We can check them, check them out together lately, later if you want. So so far, I see an artifact equipment. Okay, they want to take my cradle, but that's fine. No worries. Yeah, so basically a Green Sensei package. I'm fully expecting like a knight. Uh, Ramon up, Wastelands, uh, Green Sense can go get Uro 2, probably. We'll see. Three mana, D, D, Yikes. That's a big Yikes right there. Well, they're not trades 2 for 1, so that's not so bad. I'm gonna lie. Uh, what do we do? So we, I, I think we are thinking on rebuilding, right? Sacrifice, sacrifice each artifact creature and enchantment. So the actually the arbor dies too. Pretty bad. So I think we're not gonna rebuild. We have the cradle. Just play this. And actually, we can do better. We can keep the reclaimer back. We can keep the reclaimer back. Uh, reclaim the dryad. Uh, rotate it for another fetch or land, even another cradle. Yeah, definitely laughs in choke. Uh, we did see, I don't remember, but apparently, we did see a tropical. So we'll see. Uh, we saw a tropical island, Robert. Maybe it's a light blue splash. I don't know. Uh, this is not really um, 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 uh, uh, a common deck, so I'm not. I don't know their 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 seventy five, right? Yeah, I want to save Reclaimer if we if we can. So I don't think they can afford to not pop the Pernicious, right? We will see. Like they have to advance the boards up. <laughs> they have to do something, right? So you mean you would have you have replayed the VCO? Like if we play the VCO, we can yeah, we can bounce it main phase. But the problem is the 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 did can be activated at any point, right? So if it, if they do that and we exhaust the symbiote on our main phase, probably they crack the pernicious on our they crack the pernicious on our on, on our own turn while the symbi symbiote is exhausted and we cannot save the reclaimer. Opponent playing really slow, it's me. No, they have one mana open, no? They cast the trophy. They had one mana open, isn't that, isn't that right? 
So the oh, could be, could be. I don't remember. You don't do anything. Oh. Oh, there we go. What? So they did kill their things too, right? Why would you use a green sun? That makes no sense, right? Yeah, bitterness production makes sense. But mana ramping in with a with a pernicious, I don't know. I think we're gonna get a, a cradle here. Um and see if they pop. Oh, that's just so sweet. That is just so sweet. So we they're gonna we're gonna make them crack it for one. Bosse, you guys play play three. Don't play two. Don't listen to Newton. <laughs> Bosse, you so good. All right, so they they do that. We do this. Do no wait. We do this. Da -da -da. Um. I'll say your best three. <laughs> True. Truge. That is the truge. Uh, fetch. So it's a one for one. Well, plus will say you, right? And they get the land. <laughs> and they lose all their board too. <laughs> Oh, there you go. That's 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 bad. That's pretty bad. Um, can we kind of start to rebuild? To playing this, I'm playing this, and pass. So next turn we basically rebuild completely. I think we get. Um, so we can, yeah. So we go, we're gonna get, we're gonna get all our fetchables out. That's gonna be. Uh, two bayous and so right now it's gonna be uh bayou uh bayou dryad and next or on the main phase we take the second bayou. Vale. So in a pretty good spot right now. Do we have any black any 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 black spells that we care of? I think it's just Grist. Okay. Uh all right, so I'm gonna go get the second bayou to filter. I don't really want to draw more lands at this point. We have even a, even a cradle on top of cradle. A lot of volume. Oh my god, oh, we're getting all the chokes. What the hell? <laughs> good, good, that's good. Anti combo, anti combo death. Give me a one off, I want a one drop. But it's not a one drop. I think I think at this point we don't want to commit the cradle. Maybe maybe we draw like maybe we draw like um not to our creature hoof next turn or later, so that's fine. <laughs> Cast that 
joke, cast joke on a on a non island board to send a message. Yeah, that's that's very Ethan y. <laughs> that's what Ethan would do. You know, blue players are not allowed in this game. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so there's the combo we talked about. So spreadsheet not spreadsheet not not uh, not wrong. Okay, and that's probably just the kill. So we get in if we attack with everything and that should be lethal. We have to stop this one. It's not it's not lethal. Because we get in for 13. Well it is if I snap first, what the hell, yeah. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> snap to us her dominance, exactly. I mean they can kill you on the next turn, so might as well respect their combo. Okay, so that's a turn six. Turn six Dino Bass. So okay guys, what would you say is the most common most common So if you could if I would ask you to order um if I would ask you to order um the uh, the win conditions from from cradle control from most likely to less likely, what would you say? Disappointed in not choking. You mean in double choking, right? Double choking an an island an islandless opponent. Come on, guys, tell me, tell me, because I I really want to know if um what you think is what I thought it was too. I guess. So. Tell me what you think are the most likely wing guns in the deck. So I give you the options. Could be uh NO NO hoof, Green Sun Senate hoof, um hard cast hoof, uh beatdown, usual beatdown, uh Dino Bash, um no proc. Um yeah, basically those. So amongst those, tell me with tell me your, your top three in in order of likeliness. What do you think it's the other? Dinos beat down Chris answer for who? That's for there. He knows beat down is actually for hoof. So no no love for natural order for hoof. Interesting. Okay, so I added. Sorry for the for the math class. <laughs> no hoof can say for hoof dino bus. Yeah, car getting closer. Tedre at all for hoof dino bus mediocre beat <laughs> mediocre beats. Okay, so. Check this out because this is pretty interesting. Uh, so these are my deck versions uh, all back since November last year. And the most likely win con is always Natural Order Hoof. The second one, and it's not even close, is Dino Bash. The second most likely one is Dino Bass. And it's like, it's, okay, so here, for example, is Harkas Hoof, but the, the sample is five games, five matches. If you, if you take big samples, it's always the same. It's not Water Hoof. And then the second most likely, not even Greens and Zenith. There are some, some, some games, some, some, sometimes where Dino Bash is just, of course, it, it, it's, a, uh, like it's related with uh, with the deck building itself. For example, if you're if you're if you're having if you are packing more druids or four shepherds or whatever. But uh, to me, this was pretty interesting because. Um, so I think I think that the the Dino Bash plan is a little bit um, 
Like we are, like we we talked about it earlier, right? Like we are neglecting it a little bit, and it's uh, it's it's <laughs> it's bringing us there. It's it's making us cross the finish line <laughs> a, a lot of times. So that's something to something to to take a note. Okay, Kri Krikil. Okay, no idea. I think I think I've never played this guy. So let me do the spreadsheet first. Krikil. We are on the play, and as I said, we never play this guy. And this is a snap keep with ones, so easy keep. Mm -hmm. Really loving the bridge rush. Maybe just guy. Yeah, probably it is. <laughs> They're molding to five? What the hell? I will tell you. Like the third the third position is I would say is Close between hard cast hoof and beat down. Yeah. So I think the, the closest competitors are hard cast hoof and beat down. That's the, like the order. All right. So let's once here. Mm -mm -mm. Symbiote would be like the best hit, I think. But they will take Reclaimer too. Okay, a little soft to Wasteland. We will see. Snow covered forest. Okay, land. Okay, should have kept the should have taken the the Poseidon. But this is a pretty fast clock, so we can draw some cards. Finer Poseidon. No way no tabernacle yet. So we are free elves. For the time being. No oppression yet. They move to five. Hmm. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Nah, nah. So, if no symbiote, we go get it. Well, actually, huh. what do you think about getting Shepherd right away? So, if they don't, if they don't have a tabernacle or way to get it, we just we just kill them. Yeah, I think I'm gonna go for the shepherd. It's not very an uh, orthodox line, but given that they mold and they give, they didn't crop rot right away turn one, which is their they their standard uh, line. I think this is this represents the m the most pressure for our opponent. The best insect, I think, it's symbiote still. And don't don't even tell me about it because today I missed a foil. A foil symbiote. I got the I got the I got the alert from the website. Um and since we often order together, my friends and I, I told them I told them, yeah guys, uh this you know, I've got it's been it's been three years since the since the since the last uh foil Japanese symbiote. Please we have to order fast. And I give them some time. I gave them some time to just send me over whatever they wanted from the from their from the website. And when I got I got all the list, it was so, it was too late. Yeah, the only out probably is still tabernacle crop. Hello elf. Hello hello eight cast. <laughs> oh no, I jinx it. It's tabernacle. No, no, it's a blast blast zone. Oh, back to the Stone Age. 
Boom. Oh, my God. A volar, pero bien, eh. All right. Uh, we can rebuild. That's fine. No problemo. That was a uh, one for <laughs> four for one. <laughs> pretty, pretty effective. Well, actually, if you count in the crop, two for two for two for four, <laughs> did pretty good. Yeah. Yeah. Um, we wouldn't have won still because our draw step was hoof. So that's a. It wouldn't have mattered. Even if it was Tabby, we wouldn't have be able, we wouldn't be able to kill them because the draw step was was greater hoof. Mm -mm. Okay, so now we're getting there. What can we get here to really annoy them? I think it's a Grist. Alright, so let me just... We can get in for two now. Uh, one, two, three, four, Grist. Yeah. So we do this. Second main, play Birch Lord. Tap for three, tap for one. Pay, pay, pay. Get the grist going. Could be endurance too to get the loam. But well they can copy the blast zone to get rid of the tokens. That's true. Oh no, no explore. Yeah, they okay, they they kill the own exploration with the blast zone. So again, it's it, it was a three for, three for, three for four actually. So it's getting better for us. Like somehow it's getting better. <laughs> One mill land, extra insect. Sure. All right. So next turn, can we threat? So next turn we make the fifth insect. We get armor of this. So cradle gives six. Seven, eight, yeah. So they have to have something now. We can cast Hoof next turn. Cradle OP. Okay, what's this? They're trying to. Okay, so they got. They want to trade for with the CMC twos, I guess. That's fine. Oh, it's Mulch. <laughs> Ooh. Okay, okay, okay. May now, now, now the 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 mold to five makes more sense. It's eight mulch. Cause the mana bond, right? All right. That that is annoying. That is annoying. So they're getting rid of two guys. All right. Seven cards, uh, so we can deal eight. Huh. So Cradle of the Top is lethal. Okay. I guess we just keep putting pressure, right? If they want, I mean, if they want to kill our one-offs, <laughs> we have Grist Ultimate. Uh, five, six, not this turn. Vale, down to ten. Seven creatures in the graveyard. Gris count itself, so Gris would be creature number eight. But we need Gris to die. All right. They loam. And they concede. I would say it's an early concede, but that's okay. Uh, okay, so how do we call this? I would call this Grist victory. Yeah, exactly. I will. I, I will call this. I will call this Grist victory. Okay, eight mulch. 
Eight mulch means oh another matchup for here for the goblin bass. So all the graveyard control is n not enough. <laughs> uh, we want to board out the oof. We want to board out the glimpses. We bring in progenitors because of Maze of Faith, and that is a pretty neat boarding. We have three, so we have three ways to deal with their turn one accelerants, and then a bunch of ways to deal with the graveyard. Would be six cards. That's a, that's a fair amount. Bring in choke. They will not see it coming. <laughs> Yeah, the double, the, the, the infamous double grace, right? This is a fine hand, I believe. On the play, would you bring in Thoughtsies? No, I think this is a. This matchup is. Um, interaction between between each other is very limited. It's only limited to Tabernacle and Wasteland. And those cards cannot be thought seized. So the only thing you can th you could possibly thought seize is the turn one accelerant. And I don't think that the dilution of our own game plan is worth the possible chance to get their explore or mana bond. That's that's my my reasoning. So I think here we you have to you have to keep your deck as goldfishy as possible, right? You want to you just want to goldfish, do your thing, take the progenitors out. You don't have a way to deal with the progenitors. So if you take it out fast, you probably win. Yeah, why, right. We can also bring in snuff out, right? No, we can't. It doesn't even kill the zombies. <laughs> so bad. <laughs> Would be so bad. All right, so Tapped Wasteland is pretty sweet. You have eight cards in hand. Hmm. And the, ooh! That is sweet. That is sweet. All right. How do we want to do this? I think here we're gonna preemptively endurance the loam. It's kind of a bad. You know, if so, there was an option where we could play the cradle, endurance them with the cradle, with the evoke, uh, trigger on the stack, make three mana, uh, try to play VCR replay. But I think exposing the cradle with an, an an already known wasteland is bad business. So I think I'm going to do it now. Bajar vision y tapear. Es que quiero pillar una driada con la fetch eh, de Imus. Así se puede, pero. Hombre, a ver, se podría. No, no, pero se po... No, no, no. Se podría haber pillado una Bayou aquí para, como, entre comillas, baitear la Wasteland a la Bayou. Te quedas con tres bichos y en el siguiente turno juegas la, la cuna. Sí. Puede ser. Lo que pasa es que yo lo que quiero es fechar al final del turno. Vamos a ver qué hacen con la Wasteland. Sí, sí. Es posible que tu línea fuese mejor, ¿eh? Es posible que tu línea fuese mejor. Yeah, exactly. If we go with... If we... Yikes. That is annoying. Vale. So they put us to 22. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. That card... Yeah, we cannot get the Riot now. Elf, please. Not an elf. Oh, 
We can't because they kept the wasteland up. That's that's cool. They tapped the wasteland. But they reveal. Mana bond. Alright, so probably he have a field of the dead. A second wasteland. Oof. Yeah, they're gonna play the mana bond and, and let and let it activate. This game is looking like we might lose it. Um all thanks to this card. <laughs> that card is nuts against elves. Like any any deck with uh, CMC one. Pretty good. Yeah, so they're gonna bond, play mana bond, go and step activate. Uh, they're gonna play the everything, right? The wasteland, the field of the dead, everything. Why did do that? Yeah, we have some draws. Okay, so what now? They don't activate mana bond? Cool. So they give us a whole, a whole turn to do stuff. Okay, so we can get the progenitors out. That's pretty cool. Oh no, we can't. Yikes. True. You have to I have to play land and pass. Oh. No, no, I, I I was I was thinking we had like one cradle in play. I think that's game. Um So until stomping ground is known Misty we don't know the Misty probably is that one. So they have a second wasteland. But I don't think playing the playing the cradle out makes any sense. Yeah, that makes sense, but that makes sense. That makes sense. Only problem is if we at some point get to four mana. Uh let me check that out. You're actually right, Carl. Wait. Mill, Wasteland, Mana, Bond. Uh. How did we know about the Mana Bond, though? Carl is right. Yeah, true. Okay, so this one is not. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So what what Sadu says? Yeah, it was confusing for a moment to me for me yeah, for me too, yeah. States dark depths. Okay, so now they're gonna activate def they're gonna activate definitely. So probably it's game. Well whoa, 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 whoa. it's not game. If they if they Okay, that I was gonna say that. So if they get a little bit like overconfident we are at 22, so we can take one hit of the Mild Ledge. Okay, Tabernacle, Dark Depths, that, that makes it, yeah. So they activate now. So they're going to make a token and Tabernacle triggers and a ton of zombies. Enough. <laughs> Next game. Yeah, that was not cool. Any changes? Probably not. Let's go. The hand was not bad, but it was not exp like the um, the the flame jab really, 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 really won the the game. This hand is okay. Yeah, it was actually no, no. Actually, the draw was pretty was pretty bad because there were they so they, like they put they put everything on the on the um, on the low engine going, and we just had the endurance. So we deal we 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 were able to deal with that part. Um, we were able to deal with that part um, okay the only problem was the um, the flame jab 
what we really needed was to draw some number of reclaimers. If we draw some number of reclaimers, that would be in a much better position because that would take two, two jabs per. So yeah, okay, shepherd. What do we get here, guys? So I get, I guess endurance is a cool pickup too. Just for safety, we're gonna go get endurance. Have two natural orders, anyways. Yeah, exactly. Here's okay. So I'm not, I'm not trying to to sell you the the goblin bus, Adrian, but just saying. I mean, you said it. Here's would be pretty nuts here too, right? <laughs> Exploration is fine. That is fine. No, no, no. Why the heck? No. It always comes to the hand. Always. You have to make an emote for the progenitor scores. <laughs> oh my god. It's amazing. I it's I cannot think of another one 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 of you draw so much. It's just oh my god, come on. Okay, that's gonna be we're gonna get rid of that. Do we do it now? It's sorcery, so they can't do it on our turn. Okay, have a nice dinner. That's so cool. So now we can hard cast it. If they're doing it. Maybe it's a little bit like early, but we don't really have another play. So guys, maybe we have to go 200 IQ and play double progenitors. What do you think? On the progenitors matchups, we play double progenitors. So you never draw both. <laughs> oh no, come on. R long, really? Okay, okay. Okay. We're gonna be the we're gonna be that guy. We're gonna be that guy. Oof. Oof. Two maces too. Brr. Brr. I mean, cal therapy over thoughts is that's been a that's been a discussion going on for some time. If you are really a master of cal therapy, I do think cal therapy is better. But you know how hard it is to to proficiently name with cabal therapy. I don't think you're aware of how hard it is. Oh my god, the zombies, come on. We're getting attacked by zombies. Oh my god. Like the just top deck. Good stuff. Oh I don't want to lose this this game. Come on. That's good. That's good. That's good. Good 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 good. Yes, want to make guys. Give me more guys. Yes. That's not lethal, we're not attacking. What was the creature variant of the rest? 
the creature variant of the rest? Like you mean like um like grief? You mean? There's a there's an elf that discards, but discards like a random. Fuller. Yeah, kinda. I mean, I, there's an elf that discards from Kalheim, I think. Not, not hundred percent sure. Uh, well, I'm not sure right now. No, no, not the one I... You're gonna make me look, it, look for it? This one. Whenever an elephant is on the battlefield, each opponent discards a card. You can bounce it, but it's like a little bit hard on on, on the black mana. I mean, like we could try this. Don't get me wrong. But what do you prefer? Do you want to do you want to draw a card, or do you want your opponent to discard a card? Like it's so you, with the visio, you have the same effect, right? The same but the opposite. So you pay two, you draw. With this one, you pay two, they discard. I don't know. I think this is the, the thing that's closest. Like the CMCs of the rest. Okay, can we order it for the mana value? This one is when he dies. By the way, our opponent is still not 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 uh, not reacting. No, I don't think there's anything like even remotely close. Ooh, the story target non elf. Sweet. From Lorwyn. Of course, Lorwyn. Best elf set. <laughs> Anyways. One still tanking. For... So what's going to happen here? We're passing the turn. They're going to replant. They're gonna make two extra two extra tokens. They're gonna attack the Gris, but Gris is not gonna attack. Maybe they don't attack. <clears throat> yeah, there's a chance they don't attack. So we need we need enough 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 dudes to cast the natural order through double maze. So that means double maze and eight plow power of blockers. So best case scenario would be top deck VCO into one drop. No, actually not because we don't have mana. Yeah, I don't know. Ah, uh, I think all all their draws are good, and not all our draws are good. Like progenitus being in her hand is fucking us up.
cards. Okay, you're just debating cards. We're here waiting until our opponent finishes the phone call. Okay, he's back. Okay, so let's see what he builds off. So I think like any land is bad for us, but um so any land is bad because it triggers zombies. Wayzan would be terrible. <laughs> Nine minutes to victory. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty bad. That is the only draw that doesn't make tokens. That it's actually worse. The to more tokens. <sighs> yeah. So now we are off casting at Twilord. Oh my god, that is so bad. We might lose this. Yeah, so now they have secured land drops for the three following turns. And the subsequent tokens. Yeah. Yeah, have a nice day, Sadri. Thank you for for coming by. I know this I know this time is not the best for you. Appreciate your time here. Thank you. Oh, Daddy, good top deck. Pretty good top deck, not gonna lie. Okay, so Lom is stopped. We have one more creature and they chose to not wasteland that. They're gonna just copy the thing. <laughs> it's pretty annoying. So many zombies. Okay, I hope he attacks soon. Not gonna lie, I hope he attacks soon. We're we're dead next turn. Oh, this is so bad. This is so bad. I mean, we can we can try to attack, but we need him to swing first, right? Okay, that's a bummer. Attack me. I mean, if he's smart, he not smart. Okay, so that takes a lot of blocker out of the equation. That's another blo another good blocker that finds cradle. Right, so we can say this. 
But he has more land drops, right? Okay, so he's gonna swing with 15 goblins. Goblins, zombies, sorry. Um, we can stop. How many? Alright, we can stop. One, two, three, four, three. So that's 12 left. Four, eleven. Yeah, I don't think we survived. I think we're dead. Oh, that was so lucky. I think like we had the we had the we had the we had our window, but we just top deck the progenitors. That's just RNG. And can't fight can can't do anything about it. Sorry guys. I think we should have won that game. Um it's just you top deck the progenitors you put in for the match and you just suddenly you just lose. That yeah, they just had like they were lucky enough to 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 do to have the field and us to top deck the progenitors because if they didn't have enough creatures, if they were if they were only locking our our, our land, then a, a normal hoof would would that would uh would be enough, but um, with so many blockers, we needed the, uh, so many blockers, and not only that, um, they had two two mazes too. So that was pretty, pretty bad. What? Just play. Look, this 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 guy is conceding for some reason. Okay, that that doesn't go on the spreadsheet. Well, saving the pity chest, I guess. <clears throat> uh, back to the back to the eight mulch match. It's extremely hard to win if they have like multiple. Um, if they have multiple. Um, Multiple um, joder, mazes, and you drew your progenitors because you usually have enough time just to make three or four dudes, then cast the hoof, and hope it gets there with for lethal. But in this case, it was not enough because they were four o, so four o zero. But then why why just don't drop the league? Like, why would you just play, I guess, to give somebody a free win? I don't know. <laughs> okay, thank, I, thank you, I guess. <laughs> I, don't, I don't usually do that, but... Makes some sense. Okay, we can keep this, I think. BFF plus Cradle. <laughs> All right. Okay, Totsi. So, okay, so I think I remember... This guy. Oh, so last time we played this person, he was on blue red, and now he's opening with swamp thoughtsies. Let's see where we go from here. Okay, so I want to know exactly what cards he knows about. Okay, what? The oh my god, this is annoying. Hmm. Sure. This is box. What is this, bro? I want to test things, not be triple thoughts on the second turn. Get the math, mm -hmm. Grist. Grist is a problem with this board, not gonna lie. Yeah. 
it's a big problem. Uh, okay, hope they minus. <laughs> they want to make more dudes? Oh, they want oh, they want to attack first and then and then minus, I guess. Please go minus. Nice. So we let them target first. This is important that many people miss this about the um, about Grist. So you can actually you, have, you can respond twice on the minus effect. That's pretty pretty important. All right. So we have a we have a way to deal with the Grist now. Which is pretty good. All right, no creature. It could be an endurance, could be a but Endurance doesn't trade with Endurance, so that's fine. It, lol, it's a trophy. But uh, this match is... No, no, no. <laughs> nice thoughts. <sis. laughs> What's this? Green Sun for two? Caracas Swamp Forest. What is this? This is like rock. Rock control. There's an interesting line to think about where, where we float off the arbor, let grist stability resolve the endurance our yard. No, you don't really want to endurance the yard because if we play a reclaimer, it's a three four. It's such a. It's like basically a tarmogoyf, right? So I don't think you usually want to, like, it's very rare the occasion when you want to, um, when you want to, um, um, endurance yourself. It's very rare. But this, this, this is like, we cannot get normal matchups today. I guess it's a X, X2 bracket. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, now maybe yes. Because that ooze is gonna get big. I mean, how many targets? You have four more targets. <laughs> yeah, I think this game is lost. Like, our, ha our hand was pretty mediocre, and we just were double thoughtsist. So we had we have only two, two business cards, and we, we were double thoughtsist. Uh, like, there, there's. There, there hasn't been much room for us to, to do anything meaningful, and we just drew lands. I'm just gonna concede and go for the next game. This is not, not, not even fun. Like, we drew basically all our lands. That's pretty sus. Yeah, okay, so what do we bring here? We really want the progenitors. Endurances look good. So do the hearses. Collector of can go out.
Yeah, maybe the hairs is too much. Just got two vicios. Actually, the vicios give some value. Thank you for the follow, Alep Sobak. I don't really know. Like, maybe it's just. It's just one vicio for speed. And maybe just one endurance in. So we, we really don't we don't really want to dilute our deck. I think this is the type of matchup where when we want to goldfish as efficiently as possible and just kill them fast. Yeah, I'm just gonna submit this. Mm. If, like if you draw it, yes, but the fact that you can insta speed the endurance. That's fine. So I think you I think I think as of um my personal opinion, yeah, because I've test my tested with here's is very limited. But um I think um as a card, um endurance is much better, much more flexible, being able to endurance it, to evoke it, being able to play it uh, on flash. Uh it's good on the late game. It's good the turn you play it, you don't have to get slow. You don't have to slowly get value out of it in order to be heavy hitting, uh, etc., etc. So I think the best card is endurance. If you have to choose, a mo uh, if you have to choose one, you, I, I would keep the endurance for sure. Oh my god, this guy with the salt scissors. Sure. At least we have some cards now. I would take probably the druid. Okay. Okay, perfect. We can play our hand. Yeah, yeah, that's true. The I agree with that with that statement. The um, the threat potential of Hears is much much bigger than endurance. So after the second activation, Hears is already a bigger threat. That is that is fair. So yeah, maybe I have to consider it. If we go to I mean, if we win this and go to game three, we we can we can we can actually try because we are playing with two endurance. We can try to swap the endurances for two Hears and see how it goes. So basically I need a cradle. Or that. That works too. That works too, really. Like, they could have, like, what, that ritual into a position agent, but I would disconnect myself if they do that. <laughs> okay, that's fair, too. We get the pump, though, so that's some damage in, at least. Pretty annoying, this guy. All right. You should play Gleams first. Why should I play Gleams first? Doesn't draw me a card. If the creature enters the battlefield of natural order, it doesn't draw a card. And it's not possible that it's going to bait the counter spell because we have double shepherd. So actually, I think playing Gleams first, it's bad. Does it, it doesn't draw cards of the creature from Natural Order uh, for 20 Goo. It's a uh, Glimpse only draws creatures from cast when you cast a creature, not when you tutor it. I think here we have to pass. Need to get to six mana somehow. You're gonna get those. Okay. 
<laughs> this is coming in Ooze beat elves. What the hell, guys? <laughs> oh my. Okay, at least this gives us potential to do something. Cradle. Okay, that's that's a cradle. That's a potential cradle right there. Uh, should we just keep the black in case we drew the grace? Probably, yes. So let's do it this way. No, we want to. No, we don't want to make the land drop. If we want to find the cradle. It's not going to be lethal anyway. So. And we, we don't find the cradle. Oh my god. We have a... We have an active glimpse, so that's something. That's something. Mm. One more draw. Mana is not an issue. That's the cradle. Uh... Okay, we at least we force them to block. So I think it's fair. Like they have to double block, right? No, they can they can they can let one pass through, right? Yeah, they could let one one pass and go to two. Yeah, definitely in this matchup we want value, 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 value. Okay, so they know what's coming. So I think we got them. Let's see. If we can protect the cradle, I mean if they don't attack our cradle this turn. Yeah, you got a three three. Alright. Come on. So yeah, another game won by um potentially by Dino Bash. As an initial cost to cast a spell, sacrifice a creature. Yes. What now? So what's their like what's their out here? Profit the cradle? Yeah, but we don't know about those cards, right? Yeah, engineer too. Yeah, actually, engineer shuts down, shuts us down pretty, pretty hard. Oh, they die to their own thoughts, is a oh, very nice. Okay, let's try what you said, um, Avril. Let's um. So let's put here turn five, Thano Bash. When let's try. Swapping the um, the endurances for the here says so since it's a more yeah we still have some graveyard interaction with bog yeah I think I like that let's check it like, like the the only downside of here's is it's not it's not green sun senatable it's not um oh my this hand would be pretty good. If this was not here, actually, I might keep it just for science, you know? Like, can we do better than, can we do better than this six? Double ones is not so sexy. But yeah, let's go. Let's do, let's do it for science. Let's do it for science. I mean, we can't even do, we can't even give them a turn and like. Oh my god! Okay. 
punish, punish here. Feels okay, man. No, doesn't feel okay, Sankey. Definitely not okay. Feels bad, man. Actually pretty bad. Okay, let's go for this. Yeah, I think here we got, well, yeah, I think we get the cradle and go uh, ramp. Oh, bait. <laughs> Pobre Drossi, clicando cosas que no sabe ni lo que son. Como, como, un, un, como un señor mayor. <risa> Hello, Drossi. Qué cabrón. Alright, scavenging news. That lines up pretty good with our unlicensed ears. That is pretty nice. Okay. So, points to, to Athrael here for calling it out. Full value. Tío, pero que no sabéis ni lo que estáis haciendo, cabrones. <laughs> vale, ya. <laughs> okay, I, as you see, as you see, guys here, my, my friends are trolling me, clicking on the bait, on the faux bait. They don't realize this is not a force of will matchup. I have to, I have to up update the update the runky points. Oh, don't tell me they have they take the progenitors here, please, opponent. Be cool and take the progenitors. Oh no. That would be nuts if we had mana to cast the ones. And pick a land so they couldn't pick the land and it would, they would be forced to discard the progenitors. That would be like 200 IQ play. Pero que no es, no es una partida donde juega azul el oponente, Sanki, no se puede hacer. Es que no es en esta partida donde se hace eso. Lo siento, <laughs> no se puede. Alright, so we can actually one, two, three. Um, a ver. Four, five. No, it's not possible yet. It's not possible. Okay, so we have to wait one more. We have one more. With one more guy, we can crew activate. Or after one reclaimer cycle, when reclaimer is big, we can crew with uh with reclaimer alone. Trophy, the hears. I would love that. If they trophy the Hears, means that Hears is pretty good in this matchup, too. <laughs> yeah, that's pretty nice. So, we're gonna get what? We try your permanent. Okay, is there anything we can do here? Okay, first of all, we're gonna do this. No way we can protect it. So if we convert into creature, we can, no, that's fine. It has to go. It has to go, but we ramp. So that's okay, I guess. Get off my CEO. Mm. They're getting pretty low. Titania. Oh sure, I don't I don't know if they play Titania though. Like that, this list seem. Ooh, the mill, that mill was bad. I mean, bad for them, good for us. Okay, so I think here we're gonna try and get the legendary. So first, so we can rotate cradle. We can rotate the cradle for. For another cradle, sack one, two legendary rule, put two lands on the graveyard, and then fire the Poseidon. So we get big reclaimer. But we that that ramps them one mana. 
Yeah, I'd rather not ramp them yet. So I'm just gonna go get fetch. That works. So you have to block now, right? They have to block and they 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 are left with no creatures. Yeah. Okay, blockers. So if they don't have a follow-up creature, they cannot minus the crest. They don't block? That is weird. We can play the Boseju, but they think is of little benefit. Ah, alright, there it is. Sure. The last card was Trophy. Okay, now we just need a natural order. Okay, nah, never mind, that's it. A good replacement. That was a pretty good top deck, I'm gonna lie. Um, Alright, so here if they think they don't die... Yeah, we can actually kill them. If they don't block, we can actually kill them now. No blocks. Sweet. So... Well, they could have, like... Trophy? So that's 12, and they didn't block, so they can gain life, of course. So they go to one? Maybe they're not aware Grist is a creature in the graveyard. Yeah, probably they're not aware Grist is a creature in the graveyard. Okay, they are. Why do that not before combat? I don't know why, but okay. So what now? Trophy the Shepherd again. Tracker. Right. No green mana, so they have to lose stuff now. We could... Um, No. So we just jam with everything and they have to block. So if we attack with everything, they would we lose one dryad. And they lose the, the board. Well, not the board. I think we just jam with the elves and yeah. Since we cannot kill them. You've got lethal. It's not lethal, I think. We can put the, we could put them to one, but then after combat they can eat the things. So I'd rather not lose any elf. No, because they do this. They could so if we attack with these two. Cuatro por cinco. I'm sorry. I, uh, Heritage Druid is summon sick. This cannot attack. Okay, that's a smart block. Um.
Yeah, I think we want to kill the, the use, right? Yeah, it's more problematic, I think. Yeah. Yeah, Tracker can stay, definitely. So they're gonna pump the Tracker, right? They're gonna... Oh, they don't have mana? Yeah, they do have one mana. So they're gonna do the Tracker stays. They stay at two life, they lose the board, but the Tracker... And... You go. So maybe we, we should have we should have we should have attacked with everything. Because if we attack with everything, we would be forcing them to um so they couldn't they couldn't have made double block, so maybe you are right. Uh 420 coup. But the heritage couldn't attack. Oh my god. Are we losing this? So the heritage was summon six, so heritage couldn't couldn't attack that, that turn. The only option was to attack with the dryads. We're gonna get clogged by a uh, tireless tracker here, I think. Yeah, we're gonna lose this. Hmm. Yeah, I would just, if I were them, I would just minus. Yeah, Tracker is such a good grindy card. We used to run it on Elves a few years back. <gasps> yeah, that was, uh, that was unfortunate. I, like, yeah, so we played into the deed, basically. We play into the deed, and now it's a two, two turn clock. I don't know if there's a way to save ourselves. We didn't bring in the snaps. Yeah, not looking good. Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, Vital Force, right? That was nuts. So, if they, ha if they run in second Arbor here, we basically die. Because they just get go get Arbor minus on the Arbor bash. But that thing is just getting bigger and bigger. What the hell? I can't believe we lo we're losing this matchup. <laughs> so bad. So how how should I call this this deck? Um, it's not Nick Fed, no. Like it's like green black rock. You think it's Nick Fed? Did we did we see explorers? Well, we saw Phyrexian Tower. We saw Phyrexian Tower. All right, all right. Okay, so we're dying to a to a to, to a sweeper on one, to an explosive on one. Yikes! With that board, feels bad, man. Oh, there was a veteran explorer. All right. Okay, so back to the deck, deck deck here. Hmm. I think I want to play another league. So, what do you think, guys? Any changes? I think the list was pretty... Like, I didn't feel we didn't have any outs uh, on any games. We we were... Like, we lost the... Um, we lost this one to a top deck lead, and then we lost the 8-mold to just progenitors in our hands, so... 
that's just out of our control. Are you going to be made to be bringing the thought season this matchup, maybe? To um, to discard them of the um, of the deed. That's a that's a possibility going forward. Hey, you're welcome, Carl. See you next time. Bye bye. So any changes? Hmm. <laughs> there it is. Any changes to the list you guys want to see or suggest? I think the endurance. I'm pretty. I'm okay with the three-two endurance and uh, his uh, um, split. Most of the time we just kill them. Yeah, I think. I think on a normal game we will just kill them. It's just um, bad RNG, I believe. Um, I don't know how I feel about the trap. So, but yeah, I would. Be, I think I would be happy to to see them if we see, if we play like a uh, storm decks. So yeah, for the sake of testing, we're gonna we're gonna send another one with the same seventy five. So give me a moment. Join league. Play points. Yes. Okay. Okay. While we're queuing for the next game, let me grab some water. Erb. Is hiding better for us than trap. Uh, it's different. Uh, definitely silence is actually. I would think it's a, it's it's overall it's a better card. Um, so I would say it's a better card, but so you have to adjust the build and play the green white. I actually have an an updated green white list. If you are curious how it looks. So it would look something like this. Probably the so with the here's update probably mm, could cut like one chalk, one different silence. Oh no wait, this list definitely needs work. Let me see. <laughs> While we're looking for game. So last last list we played about 101. Okay, so 101. So Okay, so if we would to up if we were to update this would be something like I would delete this uh rename this to oops rename this to O2 change the date to today uh cut the fourth ones at the second birch lore um Arconing the board makes more sense because we're running savannas. So here maybe it is a possibility you need a third choke because you don't have the thought ceases or the control. Yeah, I think if you're okay, so much is ready. I think if you're already splashing white, you might as well upgrade your removal from a uh, snuff out to to um, to so to plow, right? Because plow is just superior removal. Okay, let me just uh, input this on the spreadsheet. Windswept pass, not liking it. Okay, so this is two uh, x from Sirius. No, from Mars to Sirius. From Mars to Sirius. Uh, XX. So we've played we've played it together before. Last time we played, it was on five color, five C loam.
So Jorion and, and Heath. Weird. Okay, so I'm I'm not trusting anybody here. <laughs> We're gonna go forest. Forest first, just in case. <laughs> Or is first should be okay. With white, you could play Knight of a Relic Quarry. I haven't tried it, but I think you could, yeah. Um, the only problem is this deck doesn't have. This deck doesn't have so many so many good lands to fetch. Like really the only land we want to get be getting consistently is Cradle. You don't what you don't run wastelands, you don't have flagstones to ramp, you don't have maze. Hmm. So this looks like four color Jorion. Yeah, it's definitely four color Jorion. Well, okay. So I think here we're gonna let this go. Get a cradle in play, and then when we have the cradle, we're gonna go get Shepherd and kill them with Shepherd. I mean we could kill this, so that's an option. Yeah, Caracas will be played, but not main deck. I'm gonna go with my instinct here. These decks are a little bit soft to shepherd kills, so I'm gonna go uh, with my instinct here and just play play my hand play my hand out. I, I don't think these decks play terminus, um, Atrael. The Jorion Jorion for color things don't usually play terminus. They, they don't even play Veredict, for what it's worth. Like, okay, never mind. It's two versions. There's the Unseed version. Unseed plays Terminus. But if it's the usual one, like the one that has the enchantment ramps, uh, Green Sun Senate package, etc., that one doesn't play Terminus. No, no, I, I, I know what you mean. So the the NCD list is what you said. What you said, yeah, it does play terminus. I'm not sure though if it plays it main deck or on the sideboard, or maybe it's one one split. But I've I've seen it. You're right. You're 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 right. So he pays eight. No, he pays zero. Okay, Thespian stage. Okay, so we have the one of endurance in our hand that is great. The fire wasteland that's even better. We have mana for everything here. So that's pretty cool. That is free to play. Is it not? No, it's not free to play. So we need three two. We need all our mana here. So here we pass. And we're gonna go get cradle plus plus uh, Endurance. No, no, bo both versions play, I think, one Life from the Loam and a mini Wasteland package, like to randomly disrupt your, their opponents. I think, uh, I, I think uh, only four, all the four color lists play at least one Loam, one, one Wasteland, or two Wasteland. It's just two free, right? And uh, Loam with a um, Brainstorm deck is so good. Stage. Yeah, Stage is putting me off a little bit. I'm not sure what Stage is about on this list. Like Stage Uro, it's weird. Okay, let's see. Hello, Owen. And white could also play as flyer, else play where you forbid one type of card.
So it's actually going to be a married ledge. They have the mana. No, it's a blast zone. Alright, sure. Ah, my god, today it's been such a day. Alright, so, how I want to do it. So good we didn't play the last Reclaimer. <laughs> it's so good. So first we flow three, that's, that's there. Um... We definitely want to shuffle that Uro. And I think now we get a fetch. Yeah, that was pretty nuts. I wasn't expecting that one. We can cradle. Um, yeah, I was thinking on ramping. Yeah, okay, now, right, yeah, right, you're right. You're probably right. So, yeah, I fucked up. Uh, but how are we, we going to green sand for Visio? So, after, after the... No, we couldn't green some for Visio anyways. So this would be this would be a cradle. We would have to we would have to tap one mana to cast the reclaim it was on our hand. Uh no, it wasn't possible. All of gemstones? What is it? Uh one. Oh, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know, I know. Yeah, that's actually not, not crazy. It definitely, it definitely shuts down four color decks. Okay, we can make a stream for that. Um, yeah, problem is... Actually, it's not a problem. I, I will see when we do it, but... There's a chance we do it on Thursday. <laughs> yeah, 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 I know, I know. It's like a moon effect, but a di but different. Like, yeah, so you, you, you're fucked up and you have to choose one color for, for the rest of the thing. All right, so okay, there's my guy. All right, come on, tribal three for tribal. Could be an endurance. Oh, the endurance would be so bad on the reclaimer. No, ah, crop. Oh, dude, it's symmetrical. Dude, that's so that's so nice. So they have a they, on top of everything they have a twenty. So what is this deck? Like Jorion, Jorion, Green. What, what is this deck, bro? Okay, man. I I didn't know what we were playing against. So this is like green white, green white depths Jorion. Pretty weird. Anyways, um, I one thing we want snuffs if they play reclaimers. We want progenitus to get past their things. Uh, Gris probably too slow. Collector is pretty bad. And we can cut one ship. That's it. I like to keep. The, do we want to keep the bog? 
Nah, probably not. They prefer the ship in. Oops. Da, 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 da. Yeah, that looks fine. Band depths with Yorion. Yeah, it's pretty weird. I don't know. Hello, by the way, Miracoli. Welcome. Uh, it's a weird list. Like we, we, we're playing against super weird stuff today. We played. We played Swift Reconfiguration, we played Nick Fit, and that's it. The other match were Edmulch and Blue Redelver. Uh Reclaimers. They're in they're 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 tutors, they're knights. So that list plays knights for sure, plays reclaimers for sure, and plays and plays uh ramp creatures for sure. Like our 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 way to fight against uh, the combo, it's um, our way to fight fight against the combo. It's uh, Bosage. I think choked Sunaro. We're getting cradle here. Uh, I mean choke. I don't know. It's a, after all, it's a green white list, right? So you you saw the core. The core it's probably the splashing blue for some what they didn't play any any country, so probably the blue is for like cool breacher or a small package of Narset or something like that. Maybe Leovold. Maybe it's, maybe it's the one of tropical to be able to cast Leovold. So I wouldn't bet too hard on the blue. I really think Caracas will be fine in cyber. Yeah, we've we've played we've played. Oh my god. This is not from Green White Apps, the, the, the Coliseum. Okay, so triple mana opening, yeah. I don't know. Holy much. No, this is this is not not lo not loam. This is Green White Depths. This is the Green White Depths, and this is a reclaimer. Or a bird. That's what I wanted to, to snuff out. But apparently we, we, we're not allowed to play magic today. Apparently. Opponents down to two cards though after all this. Could be a loam. Udo. Udo's fine. Yeah, Uro, we don't care about Uro at this point. Probably that's what the blue is for. To be able to hardcast it without the, the Mox. The Moxon. Wild deck, definitely a wild deck. Okay. Uh, land would be nice. Druid is better. So how do I want to do this? All right, so we can... Draw first. Oh, really? Okay, so I think I'm gonna keep the keep the keep the heritage. We're gonna keep the heritage read, and next one we try to glimpse. Okay, that's that's uh, Mighty Blade protection for the next turn, and we can also try to kill them. Yeah, the the Colosseum looks like loam, but I mean, Mox Mox Diamond are not as green white lips. Green white lists play Mox Mox Diamond. So I'm what I mean by that is the only thing that's telling me that's screaming um, possible loam here to me is this Colosseum because the the Mox are not specific to loam anymore. I don't know either. I don't know either. Um, I think I don't know. Uh, Blinky Nudo sounds cool. Maybe they have other other ETB creatures. We we it's an eighty card deck. We haven't seen it. We haven't seen half of it. So they could have multiple things. Yes, indeed. It it works. It works. Uh, it works with uh, Hulbricher. So if you have Hull Breacher on Arset Resolve and you target the, and you 
you crack Colosseum on them, you basically discard. I don't know, for sure they, they're running for sure something uh, to justify this. I mean, we will see. Oh, that's not updated, I think. What version is that, that deck? Super 42? No, this is, this is the old Arasta version. Let me update, excuse me. <laughs> I'm on 49 already. <laughs> All right. Uh, so, TXT, desktop. Do this, open the TXT. Give me one minute and I will update you the, the deck list. Um, oh, there. Vale. I mean, let me take my turn and I will update the deck list now. If he does something. Medley mate. This is just a weird, weird deck. Natural order is fine. If we find a Bayou, that's a, that's a goner. Oh, pretty good. All right. Um, I'm gonna try and glimpse off here. Come on, give me one elf, one elf. Yikes. Uh, doesn't draw, doesn't draw. So we, we got three cards, one, no, two cards actually, it's pretty bad. Good news is we can't, we can't cast the thing next turn. So that's fine. I think I'm fine with that. Okay, let me do the um, the deck thing. Okay, so that should be it. I upload it here. Uh, TXT. Share. Vale. Okay, so we put this here. Okay, so that should be updated. Uh, void rend on the symbiote. Um, okay, let's count. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Yeah, we don't want to bounce, that's okay. It is a crazy deck. Oh my god, not that one. Ah, uh, just perfect draw. Now I regret not bouncing. I regret not bouncing there. I didn't bounce because we have lethal. So bouncing bouncing the Visio was counterproducent for us. Okay, might be able to find might be able to find something here. Maybe not. Well, we can get the bayou. We can get the bayou. Enough this guy. Get progenitors. But we are shields down to Marit Lich.
Yeah, but with all that mana tapped and no cradle, I think the bottleneck would be mana. So I, I, th I thought about that too, but we had only... So they would be... Ta I mean, we couldn't kill them on that, on that turn. That's what I mean. Plus, who've been like who've been in a hand would require us to make the land drop. We, if we find cradle, would be nice actually. Okay, so no more draws for us. They can't attack. That's actually very good. That's uh, my let protection. So we play one of the two. Just jam with proc. It is a wild deck indeed. Yeah. That meddling mage was annoying. What? Okay, we might have them. Okay, so we're gonna blow the tricks. And we should have lethal here. They do get a mana though. So if they have plow in hand, they get a blocker. Smart. We didn't know about that. So that this telling me chasm. So I'm 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 taking chasm vibes now. So you could crack. Crack, get Chasm, play Chasm. It would be only for one turn, though. Yeah, I think I was pretty... I think I, I was... Uh, I shouldn't have fired the Boseju there. That was a mistake. I didn't know they played the one Arbor, but it makes sense they play Arbor since they play Senate. And it's an 80 card deck, so playing one Arbor is pretty free. Yeah, that was that was my bad. Definitely. Wasteland. But I, I have to be missing something. Uh, well, let me block this one. Oh, poder, Leobold. Cluster, thank you for countering it. <laughs> thank you, bro. <laughs> oh my god. So bad. That was bad. That was bad. That was bad. Okay. So they are tapped out. Oh. 
Joder, ok. That was too close for my liking. Why, <laughs> why did they bluster with Leo Ball in play? Ok. Joder, that was... That was... Too hard for me. Ok. So we brought in... Snuff out is definitely correct. Snuff out is definitely correct. Uh, I think endurance, we don't need it. And we can bring in... Maybe the collector roof? Or the grist? What do you guys think? Collector roof or grist? So... I don't trust too much in collector roof because it's 4 mox, moxen in 80 cards. And grist is like you have to be ahead on board to to mi to start minus in the grist, right? For the same reason you glimpse for drawing, <laughs> yeah, but they they tapped out, and uh, I was afraid of the last mana what it could be. <laughs> so guys, tell me, collector roof or grist? Collector roof, grist or choke? They do seem to be relying pretty a little bit on blue. Did they play any cantrips? Reclaimer, Uro, Reclaimer, Melimate. I don't see any cantrips. Usually again against the band decks, what we do is we don't bring the snuffs. And what we do is we yeah, so actually we could if it's like if you want to treat it more like a control deck, you just bring in these. These and we cut draw it. That could make some sense too. We could try that, but I think like like if they go, imagine if they go turn one um we could try this, yeah, we can try this. If they go turn one um turn one green sunshine is for arbor or you have the snap out. You go, you go turn one green sand for your own arbor and snuff out their arbor, and that is brutal for that in this matchup. So that's a uh, 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 super big tempo advantage. But my problem is I, I don't identify the deck. Like I don't know what the the main part of the, of the deck is. We saw, we saw they have um, a Marit Ledge kill. We saw they have Blast Zone. We saw they have a Green Sunset package. <laughs> we saw they have Medley Mage. We saw they have what else? We saw mm -mm, Uro. So yeah. Okay, that 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 wait and bay was was pretty good. It was pretty good. I'm gonna lie. Let's see if we can bait another one. If we have another one. Okay, main main face crack fetch. I, I, I want to keep I want to keep um second forest and Boseju hidden for the moment. Well, I think the our easy our easiest way to go is um to die that is is um is is married ledge. Dark comfy oh my God, this deck. Yeah it's now it's looking more like 4C, but I'm this is like wild. 
it's pretty wild. All right, so we do this. Play these on crack. Go. We can't even. We can. We can afford to attack, right? We can attack with one. Yeah. Pretty free. That's gonna be a lot of card advantage. Okay, green sun send this a good a good pickup. There's the broom. Give me that container. Okay. Super random deck. Vale. Uh, did he meet Landrop? Yeah, okay, so that's cool. I'm gonna play this. Kill that Kaya. Good. That guy is pretty good against us, actually. It take it, it deals with everything except the Vizios and the endurances. Okay, he doesn't want to do anything right there. So here I think I want... Yeah, I'm gonna untap. So I'm respecting Wasteland here. We can protect and fire back the Bosejo if need, if need be. And we really need, like, at this point of the board, we really need only a payoff. But we know they play counter magic too, because we saw Fluster. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's definitely four color. Long. I'm changing the spreadsheet. Three mana. Divine Reclamation. Pues no. Sorry. We're going to be forced to bog the following turn. Yeah, we're gonna be forced to bog the following turn. I play this so we can have. Well, we can keep the bog if they find something, but they need four mana for the flashback, five mana for the flashback. So yeah, that's we're losing our, our resources now. We have to keep one. Recla it's maybe we have to keep both reclaimers back, so that is not ideal. Okay, that is pretty good. So I think I'm willing to go shields down this turn. To draw one more card. And if that card happens to be Green Sun, Natural Order, or Hoof, we can kill them. Uh, we made a land drop? No. So the, we are at... Seven. We are at ten. So actually, if we find hoof, we can kill them. Uh, no hoof, but we can keep drawing cards. Really? 
Okay, so it's gonna be the next turn. Um... So what do you think about... Boseju in the maze? So Reclaimer goes big and we can attack with 9 power. And I'm sure they have some pretty expensive draws on their deck. Yeah. Okay, let's do that. I just want to be mana efficient because... So this way we are pressuring their life total and... the Like if they... Literally, if they, if they rip something similar to this, they go to one life. So let's see. That or the or they lose the, the confidence, right? So it's uh that's gonna be an arbor most likely. I would imagine. Is it? It's crabland. Mm, smells 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 plowy. Anyways. Nine power. So I guess on this board they cannot afford to block and they have to take whatever they can. Uh, Blast Zone would be pretty good. I mean, if you can assemble, yeah. I mean, they could return the maze. I think they're dead. But it could be like, I mean, I don't know. If they go for Blast Zone, Tricks. Yeah, Strix makes sense. But they're still dead, no? <laughs> I mean, so they have two blockers, they have a plow, they concede. All right. Oof. Okay, so that was turn six. Bit down. Um. All right. Let's go. Pretty close. Um. By the way, this person was a trophy leader like two seasons ago or something. So I think he's a pretty good player. So even if we lost, there will be no shame in losing against him. <laughs> okay, next round is ready. Uh, okay, this is a storm storm um, specialist, and a friend of the stream. Not always, really. It's not the same type of shame, I would say. <laughs> Uh, this guy was, last time we played, he was on Eruth Storm, which is pretty crazy. And I think he um, he actually qualified for the PT. No, no, no. Oh, this is Dredge? Yeah, it's Dredge. All right, all right. All right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right, all right. All right, all right. <laughs> Should we lead on Bog? <laughs> Do, is, is the actual play Bog? <laughs> Lol. I think it is. It's two, two Dredgers. I don't think we can let them on top of that. <laughs> um, now this guy has some some very cool decks. He has Eruth Storm, not Elf Eruth. Is this card called Eruth? It, it's a combo he built himself, I think. Uh, he also plays. Uh, 
He also plays um, Ruby Storm. Not the, not the, not the Epic Gamble, a different kind of Ruby Storm. Uh, he also plays... Okay, one Arco, no bridges. He also plays... He played one combo to me, Jeskai Ascendancy combo. Storm combo, literal combo. So this guy is, loves comboing. He's a combo master. And he's really nice. A really nice guy too. Yeah, I know, I know. I think here I like drawing the card. Why would you once? What 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 are we looking for with the once upon a time? Oh, true, true. True. I thought we want me to cast the ones. You're right. Thank you. Uh, okay, so the only card that matters right now, I think it's on the main deck is Endurance or just try to kill them. Uh, the card that better... Well, we could play the collector roof in case they have more LEDs. But the graveyard is pretty is pretty full. I think I'm gonna grab the the symbiote here. Feels not bad. So, Cabal Therapy, two Cabal Therapies on the bin. So, bad news is we have double glimpse. That's bad news. We are on the draw, by the way. The pass, cool. I oh, know. <laughs> you get the one damage in. Sweet. Yeah, yeah, no bridges is fine. We need to find a. Uh, Endurance here. I guess here we're losing the 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 glimpses. It's okay most of the time. Oh the name glimpse at the first glance, alright. Good name. Yeah, pretty good name. Yeah, sorry, I didn't recognize the, um, the art. So they can flashback it once again and they can get rid of our Reclaimer or our Symbiote. Probably I would say they take the Symbiote here. Yeah, so they they take the symbiote correctly. Um, that's quite good. So I usually think our Boseju are stone rains. Where's my mana? Okay, full booked. Thank you, Modo. So I think I'm gonna play this play cradle and take one of their mana. Does it matter? Oops. 
phone. One second, guys.
I'm back, guys. Sorry. Okay, intense matchup against Ali. Um, sorry for the phone call. Pause. I'm thinking, what I'm thinking here is to bog the loam and the ways and out. Um, but I also have the chance to, since in game, game one we have one, one endurance in the main deck. So I was thinking we could pay for the three elves. So we could add three. No, that doesn't work. Ah, we have to bog here. It's uh, really annoying, but we have to bog. So if we bog, it's a, it's a disaster for our for our for our board. And it looks like they're gonna go for the for the mild ledge kill. The only reason they they weren't able to do that is because they didn't have the blue the 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 green mana. I think we have to bog them, even if we lose some creatures. This case is really annoying. So we can only pay for two guys if we do that. Maybe the better, the better, the better um, solution is to tap three elves. Heal this, this. So pay for this, this, this. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, so we're paying for the youth. Yes. Because this way we put a clock on the board and get rid of the of the of the, of the loam engine. So okay, so we keep, we pay for the youth. We don't pay for the shepherd. We pay for the reclaimer. We don't pay for the druid. This really hurts me. Really, my guys. We pay for the arbor, and now, independently of what we top deck, we are able to to endurance. That's a really good top deck too. So now we endurance him. And that stops the loam. I'm afraid of, and that stops the loam, and we will still kill. We'll still blah, blah, blah. We'll still keep the mocks under on check. The two double mazes are a little bit annoying. Thoughts is all right. So he's t he's testing the black version. Uh, not very relevant. The thought is there. Okay, we need to pay for everything. Good we'll draw. Uh, thank you for the follow, Philosopher99, excuse me, didn't see you earlier. Uh, I mean, I saw, I saw you, but it was on the phone. Okay, so we're waiting for two, like we, we're losing a bunch of time on the, on the, on the, on the, on the um, tabernacle triggers. But we are like on, on, on his top deck's mercy <laughs> right now. He boxes us and shrinks the reclaimer. That's pretty bad. So I'm a little bit afraid of that last card in his hand. Okay, it's Caracas, sure. I mean, we should know because that, that was recovered of the loam. Uh, I don't really want to get the Arbor here, I think. Okay, so let's pay fast. Yes. 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 So now he's gonna let go of the reclaimer. It's possible that the correct play here is. It's possible that the correct play here is. Sacrifice something and get cradle. 
it's possible now that we have deal with the uh Nando, 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 blah, blah, blah. now that he doesn't have wasteland anymore okay, he's going to start to copy the, the mazes now this is just <sighs> we, we don't have progenitors in the main deck so winning over so many ports is going to be annoying at the very least uh, I'm gonna go get this for the extra mana. Try to get the, try to get the, a cradle going. See how that goes. So basically, we're gonna do this. Heal one. Hit cradle. And now we pay for the important guys, which is not you. You, 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 not you, sorry. And we don't even attack because of the... Okay, that's a really good draw. That's a really good draw, and in the proper, with the proper timing. Uh... Oh. Sure. Forgets about the loam, I think. Ah, uh, bog. So you can pay for everything with one click now, which is pretty awesome. We're gonna bog. We don't want the Loman engine going. We don't even care to attack here. Next turn we pay the upkeep with Cradle. Get rid of the Tabernacle. Uh, uh, yeah, so we will have to like regrow the board somehow. Like tri triple maze is, I don't know if we if we can if we can win past triple maze. He, no, he can't copy tabernacle. You cannot copy legendary legendary. Uh. A ver. So now you you made me you made me doubt. Can you copy? I don't think you can copy Tabernacle, right? You you made me doubt doubt myself, but I think you cannot. I. Well, the other option is just. Clock him eight. We have eight turn clock, which is not unreasonable.
Rub decay? Wasteland. Ah, okay, so we, now we can't attack with the Reclaimer. One second. One second, guys. I'm consulting. I think I'm going to time out like always on this matchup. Uh, I can't even play the Visio. I don't know what I'm doing. Like, I can't advance my board, I can't attack because he, he taps out everything. I, I'm not allowed. I can't. I can't attack with a reclaimer because then I, 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 I risk my cradle getting destroyed. And now he has Dark Depths. <sighs> Land, please. Whoa. Okay, that's not even that bad. That's more clock. Okay, so he's killing that. If I if I rotate it out, he's going to transform. This matchup is just miserable to play. Okay, and he started to remove counters. Drop of Honey too. Is this main deck? Yeah, I don't think I can win this game. Like if it wasn't for for the ports, um, we would have gotten so much damage. But with the ports and the ports, sorry, the mazes, the mazes, um, like we 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 set a good board for so many turns. But with the with the three three mages, it's just too too, too much to 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 come through, right? Okay, so we're gonna bring in the usual, which is the graveyard head progenitor. Bam, 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 bam. This is gonna be out. Glimpses are out. 
And that's going to be it, I think. Okay. Yeah, it was pre pretty humiliating, but that's how Lance is usually. I mean, if the games can be close or can be really not close, and this is this was not close. Like turn one tower nagle is already pretty annoying. And I lost a bunch of time, so I need to I need to if I want to win this game, this match, I need to play fast. And I need to win this one. So let's see if we can do it. Okay, so game one loss. Uh were we on the play or on the draw? We were on the play too. Okay. So let's go. We start off with once. Let me write it down. Yeah, price of progress seems like a like a good a good a good card against lands, right? And cloud post. Ali Mulligan into five. What the hell? Ali Mulligan into five. Okay, so since I want lands, I'm not gonna fetch prefetch. Um I think forest fine actually. So let me do this on ramp. I was debating between the sec the second reclaimer too. Second reclaimer also pretty good. So this hard mulligan tells me that might be mulliganing down to tabernacle or crop rotation. So some way to put a tabernacle in play turn one. Like it could be either natural tabernacle or or whatever to crop rotation into tabernacle. So this could be yeah. Okay, that's pretty annoying too. That's pretty annoying, but not not the worst. It could be. Endurance is a good pickup. All right, so let's get our basics out first. Okay, let's see what he has. The remaining cards in his hand. Exploration is out, so that is a little bit scary. Despian maze, dude. I hate the maze. Fear of resistance. Sure. No tower no tabernacle yet. We get to play magic. <laughs> Alright. So cradle would be nice. Boseju is great too. Boseju really is pretty damn good. Boseju is pretty damn good. Yeah. Do you think we do nothing here? Uh we want to we want to get the cradle. We want to get the cradle and we want to get an arbor. EOT. I guess arbor cradle is the play. Maximize for the next turn. Double Thespian, I don't like that. So if he tries to copy, oof. Can we can we overpower that? Can we overpower double sphere? Because that's all he's got. All he's got is double sphere. And I think we can. Okay, this might seem crazy. But I think actually it's a correct play. So 
need to put pressure here. Like, I don't know how much those spheres... So now a crop rotation costs 3 to, to cast? That's not nothing, definitely, not nothing. But yeah, I'm gonna time out here. Annoying. I think I shouldn't. Ha I shouldn't attack with the. I shouldn't have attacked with the um, Raya. Is it crazy here to kill the to kill the mace? So I can have full damage every turn? Yeah, Saga with double Thespian, that's gonna be. And and two spheres out already. That's that's gonna be a big clock. He has mana to copy. Like now, right now. Yeah, right now I can't do I can't do anything right now about that. Uh, natural order of the top works too. But... That would be extremely lucky. He's hellbent, so yeah, we need to just a good top deck. Good top deck here saves our ass. <laughs> uh, let, I'm thinking, so what is more, I mean, like, he can copy a saga. He copies the the maze. Interesting. So he's more afraid of the beatdowns. Come on, natural order. Come on, natural order. Oh. Okay, so I think now we kill the saga. And play second endurance, maybe? So that represents clock for uh, from them to us. Uh, now to play the to play the in second endurance, we need to keep five mana up. Four damage is gonna get in. Gonna go. go gonna go in. But yeah, I I really I literally can't win these games. Look at look, look at the time difference. It's like I I have to take too many game actions. I think. I'm gonna time out. <laughs> it's really hard for me. I, like I have to think it very carefully to not like make a mistake, a big mistake here. It's really hard. Not gonna lie. I'm not gonna lie. This game, this match is. It's one of the hardest, if you ask me. Uh, for me. The other matches I can play pretty fast, but this one I still have trouble. Specifically with Ali, because he plays so defensively compared to all the players. It's just... Uh, it's just crazy how defensive he plays. <laughs> Visionary cost, costing 4 mana is hilarious. 4 mana. <laughs> Alright. 
You just want to swarm the board and bash every turn for max damage. I don't hate our position here, but literally there are a million top decks from him that kill, kills us. And he's minus, he's minus 16. Every damage we, we, we present, he's minus, minus 16 here. So in an ideal world, next turn we would, once upon a time, into Shepard. Uh, and the following turn we would be able to activate. Still a decent clock, though. So he needs to rip something fast. That's long? Three mana. That could be crop rotation. Crop rotation for three. Those fears. Those fears. Hello. It's cool. Incredible. Turn seven beat down. Really hard game. All right. Next game. Same setup, I think. Okay. Please, 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 deck. Give me a turn three natural order. Please. Ay. Okay, I think Ali has some... I think he's restarting Modo. He went to sideboarding and he's restarting the game. Or maybe he's got critical error. It's possible too. What is that artifact? The goblin car. The goblin bus. So I don't want to I don't want to lie to you guys. Pro most likely we're gonna lose this one, so <laughs> It's a basically um anti graveyard um anti graveyard card. Um Don Dragon Don. This hand is okay. One friend wiki said you will come. Yes, yes. Um, I have something that uh, some things that um, are not sure yet. I have everything paid, so I paid it already. Just. So let's say we would say it's ninety percent. I come, ten percent I don't come, but I already have everything booked up, booked out.
Yeah, I think a, a, a lot of people from the legacy community are going to Bologna. It's going to be. I think <laughs> if somebody hasn't bought, bought the the ticket yet, uh, be careful. <laughs> you could be left out. Oh, Bosejo is really. I think we have to get the cradle. The MVP of this matchup is cradle. I think there will be a lot of good else players. Um, there's this guy from Italy that won a challenge. I don't remember his name. Techno, no sé qué. I don't remember his name. Um, um, then I, th I guess Julian would be coming because, you know, it's Julian. <laughs> and who else? Um, I think maybe Kai is coming too. Um, a lot of people from Madrid, are, we are going there, so it's going to be great. Okay, what's going on here? I think we can risk the first cradle. Uh, we could go get the second arbor here. Yeah. No. No, I will. I will only play legacy. I don't. I don't have uh, anything else. Only legacy. Only legacy elves. I only have um, legacy elves for. So I don't spend money on other things. <laughs> so only pimp legacy elf. Okay. Yeah, I, I mean, I'm not that good. I try very hard, but I'm not that good, to be honest. Okay, let's see what we can do here. They tap our cradle. Nothing we can do about it. Um, I think what we want here is pressure, to be honest. And what makes pressure better than... A big shepherd hit. I think nothing makes pressure better. So we're going to take the shep one, two, three, and just bash. So next turn, if he doesn't have something meaningful, we can pump in response to the port. And that is lethal. This is my plan. No, I have a I have a altered cradles. You know Marta Molina from Spain? He alters uh, magic card. So I have mine with extended art. Okay, this is Tabernacle. Wasteland, nice. But we have the second cradle in hand. Mm, guys, we might take it. It's a possible a possibility we take it. Okay, so he acknowledged the 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 Oh, really? What is this? Okay, Tabernacle is fine. No, 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 it's not fine. No, 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 no. Oh, Dios. Yeah, so we're losing so much time here. Yes. Yes. Yes, that's a good, that's a very good draw. That's a very good draw. Okay, now in the upkeep. So the, I learned this from Jorg. One moment, guys, I'm not reading chat. So now my plan is in the upkeep, when we have to pay Tabernacle, we pump, we pump with Cradle. We keep only three elves. We let the rest die and win the game joder macho come on how many answers to cradle so we have five 
through two cradles and still it's not enough. All my plans to the bin. And now I have to pay really fast. One, two, three, four, five, six. Vale. Now we're going to timeout. I don't know how many how many uh Bosages they play, but that that was very lucky. At least we have a clock going, which is not not, not bad. And he has the kill. We can block one turn. Actually, we can block two turns. Vale, uno, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco. Un, dos, tres, cuatro, cinco, seis, siete. Like that, that was say you killed us. That was say you really killed us. If he's making a video out of it, I want to see his side of the game because that was say you really, really killed us. I think. Oh! Okay, okay. Okay, there is hope. Just one more hope. That's the third cradle. Okay, he doesn't need to pay since he's half indestructible. What is the last card in the hand? Saga doesn't matter. He attacks. No me go creo. No. Natural Shadow Spear. Tío. Oh. Okay, okay, wait, wait, wait. <laughs> wait, wait. 1, 2, 3, 20. He goes to 30. No, we die, we die. We You have two turns. I don't have time to do everything. I, I I I click attack with the with endurance. Actually, we would have won, I think. Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, GG. So, okay. So the the correct play would have been. Not attack with endurance. So not not attack with endurance. They go to no. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter because they win twenty one life per turn. No, no, it was not possible.
Ah, true. Tramples, tramples. That only worked one time because of the 19 life. Never mind. And he and Dancer. Let me let me DM him. I mean, there's no shame losing to Ali, <laughs> to be honest. Pro probably the best land player. But I think that was pretty, pretty close. Pretty, pretty close. Okay, round four. Let's go. Yes, yes, yes. Trample, trample is a problem, not the lifelink. You are right. Oh, that match was intense, guys. But I told you, I told you, I, I, this matchup, I always have time issues. I always have time issues. But the game was, the game was pretty crazy. Eh? Uh, no, I didn't get the webcam. I was trying. To, I was trying to make my my compact camera, my photography camera, work as a webcam. But apparently, this, ver this camera version is not uh, doesn't work as webcam. So, so for the moment, you will not be able to see me. Mm, unknown opponent keep webcam paper games ah well the, the same answer Robert I have a laptop but it's a really small laptop like I used to bring it to you to the uni uh it's a 12 inch so the, the webcam has to be really shitty oh Delver okay get dunked all right, so we need lands like desperately. We need fetches or Oof. I can't say no to a cradle, guys. I'm not sorry. I'm just an elf. I see cradle. I press like like no. All right. I am just an elf. Okay, no wasteland. That is pretty awesome. So he's holding up Bolt. Hmm. Um. Yeah, I guess we play around days. Protect the shepherd. No, nope. nothing. Wow, lol, it's yes guy. I just realized. He bottomed a, a plow. What the hell? Yeah, okay, so it's not blue red delivery, it's yes guy. Um Well, Shepherd Living is pretty nice. Yeah. I love this song. Ooh, 
Ooh, we get to glimpse. Butter call? What? Oi. Guys, the boss is here. Hello, Newton. Play box second main just in case it turns to Bolt Shepherd during combat. Yeah, yeah, okay. Oh, Newton, did you see my Lance matchup against Ali? Oh, I, I think I think I got him like multiple times, and then, well, a sequence of terrible top decks from my opponent. <laughs> well, I actually didn't know. Oh, all right. So it was a pretty sick matchup. I I timed out actually. I was dead, but I timed out. So. I think you you would like to to check it out. Okay, so here we just go wide. So there's no forces going around. Hmm. Do you do you know what list uh, this is? Because I don't. Is the max torsion list maybe? With a hmm, double glimpse. Probably my, okay. Would you double glimpse here? I think we. I think we. We like like we are allowed. Like. There's no chance that DRC is gonna fly with the butter skull. I think we we can. We made the land drop yet? No. So there's a chance we find the second cradle too. Pretty good. Um. Yeah, we keep reclaimer. We conserve mana because you already have two double glimpse going, so I think. Well, we don't have to do that yet. Wait. We might draw into something else. Triple glimpse. <laughs> yeah, triple glimpse. I think that's too greedy. But then. Okay, opponent says it's enough. <laughs> okay. So turn four glimpse. Uh, Ali not answering is pretty weird. Maybe he's recording a video because uh, he topped the um, he topped the Casado spear that made his married late life link. Um, and I want to ask him if he was top deck or he asked like he was like uh, sandbagging it from before, but he's not answering. Maybe he's recording a video. All right. Sideboard. Um, this is pretty. So I think I like this. He's running ways. I think he runs wasteland. So we send it. No, he dazed. Yeah, triple glimpse would. Be... I think it was too much, right? So I don't know if this list runs wasteland or not. Um. Like sideboarding in this ma sideboarding against against Delver and Storm like Delver Blade variants is a little hard to me because I don't know if I have to play if I have to um, yeah I have to sideboard like if it was um control like if I ha if I want to hedge the control part or the um, or the Delver part so let's think what we saw so far we saw we saw DRC multiple multiple uh, removals. Stoneforge. So we definitely want progenitors. Um, to raise the equipment. And maybe the hearses are too much. So I'm going to not bring those. 
cut on the druids, probably. I'm bringing the endurance, so that, that's like a good middle of the, of the road plan, I think. Thoughtsies are also not bad in the matchup. Hmm. Yeah, let's submit this. On the play, I can play the chokes, but on the draw... Mm. So let me just remember how we sided. Okay, so we took out the heritage. Uh, so three heritage out, two endurance in, progenitus in. Yeah, so that makes us considerably slower. Yeah, maybe the snaps were be were a better choice. But I don't really want to cut the natural order plan against the Kaldradek. Okay. Yeah, this is a mulling. Triple, triple ones, mulling. Thank you, boss. <laughs> I'll send you later the match against Ali because I think it's worth checking out. Thank you for coming by, Newton. Okay, so we mulligan this. This one. Uh, game one, they felt really soft to Shepard, so I'm going to keep this. It's a little bit risky, but we have one more draw. And they moved to 6 2. Okay. We are we are on equal conditions. Mm, we didn't bring in the snuff, so I'm okay if he wants to waste that in case he has it. Yeah, I think the more I think it, maybe may, I think the snap uh, the snaps were a must. So I think I think if we go to game three, we we'll side differently. Like more as if it was a Delver, I think. Although I'm not sure we can win on the ground against a resolved uh, Caldra, for example, without Trample or Progenitus. Okay, so this could be dazed. This could get dazed. Oh, okay, down to three cards, opponent. That's a pretty good draw. Was there a new elf? Yes, but it's blue black. Hello, broccolis. Welcome. Yes, yes, there was a new a new elf today. It was I think I can think lol. Okay, I was not expecting that so early. Yeah, that caught me completely off guard. Days? No days. At least it's a 6-6. Six, six. Another great song. Yeah, it's um, Delver Blade. So it's like... 75% of blue red delver, then a, a light splash on white. And. Ah, you mean the. Sorry, you mean the elf. Yes. It has some weird effect too. It's a. Um, the text is something uh, regarding change. Con uh, swapping control of creatures. So if I. Let me find the link. Let me actually find the link. Okay, wait. We're going to get slammed here by the Morgue Tide. Alright, we need, really need a Cradle or 3rd mana here. Yeah, we, re we really need the Cradle. Um, I'm going to try to bait something here. I, I, I will not be able to draw... Okay, so we, we baited out a second Murktide, which is <laughs> pretty good. That's pretty cool. Okay, so now we, all, all we need really is a, a, a cradle. If we find a cradle, we'll be fine.
Cradle, 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 cradle. So, two turn clock from our opponent. Three turn clock, actually, with this one. That we don't. I, I, that's not gonna matter for this game. It's too slow. Well, he got Caldra, so next turn he's slamming for 11. We need. Yeah. Um, he can activate Caldra. Yeah, we lost. We need. We need. We choked on mana. We choked on mana. Okay. Uh, sideboard. Let's change something. So I really want snuffs. I think. Um. Yeah, I think. <coughs> I think I'm gonna go as it was full Elver. Full Elver. Full Elver. Yeah. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see if we can. If we can do it. So same same board same plan as Delver. Really good opener with once upon a time. We want more land, so Oh. Oh, okay. No problem, we get this, this, this. Yes, it's worth it. Yes, it's worth it. Yeah, indeed, best land found. Our hand is a little bit soft to um, to wasteland, but I did, I really wanted to lead on, on Bayou. Okay, I thought, yeah. So I wanted to have snuff out up from, from the beginning, but that that's fine. Yeah, I think the artifact is uh, it's still being explored. Like if you want to if you want to take into account numbers, sheer numbers, uh the top 8 of the showcase had at least four the three decks at least that I know of play the artifact. That's quite a lot. Okay, you're not playing Alcadra. No, no. Uh, I think best explanation is best ga the first game of today. That first game was nuts. We we played against Baku, and during one of the games, we played during eight turns with no lands, and we just we 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 were able to to stop their. You know, the Delver plan for eight turns, just with a car. Uh, we can watch the replay together. Yeah, I think I, th I need to activate the, the replay of the stream because right now I think my replays are off. Yeah, but the good thing is, so if you're bringing in Force of Vigors against me, I'm super happy. Like, so you're gonna two for one yourself with another card too. That would be great. <laughs> Plus, usually the decks you, mm. the decks the decks that run are uh, graveyard centric don't usually run the. Well, might as well play around days, right? Yeah, I don't think it makes sense to to play into days right now. So let's get him attack, and if we have to play around this, we can crack the rainforest, and if not, we just get an arbor. Uh, the only problem here would be a Murk Tide, right? Okay, resolves. Pretty cool. Iteration. So this is the problem, right? So okay, so we stimulus a lot more with we, we sideboard like this, but we we don't have that much of, of closing power. So we need like shepherd a big shepherd activation or maybe resolve 
two or three endurances and a hears to be able to have good pressure. This is my fear uh, when we play these games on this sideboard configuration. He plays a cage. Uh, what? I wanted to respond to the cage. What the hell? Okay, and there's a plow. Yeah, so we're probably losing. And he gets, so he gets Delirium on the same turn. Uh, tell me that's not, tell me that's not broken. Uh, we can't fetch for Arbor. So best draw here would be another Endurance. Don't think that's happening. Pretty good draw. So remember, opponent has a Caldra in hand. Okay, now it's going to shuffle it for sure. What about Amethyst? What do you mean? Uh, Amethyst, Thorn of Amethyst? The anti combo card? Yeah, I don't think it's playable, that card. I think if you have to hedge up against combo, it's better to just play traps. Mind break traps better, I think. Or, you know, you have other options, like Definite, definite Silence, really good. Um, yeah, off the top of my head, I can think of those two. Yeah, another Morg died, 772. We have one more Snuff out in the deck. But yeah, this is, this is why... Um, this right here is why... I have doubts when I'm sideboarding against Delver Blade. So, for example, we use the Snuff out on the Stoneforge because Caldra is such a big problem. But now the Delver, the Delver part of the deck is is killing us, and we don't have. And now we don't have Natural Order in the deck. So basically, we're dead. Yeah, I think this game is over. So we should have won game two, I think. That sideboarding was better. We just not didn't draw enough lands. And another Mystic. Yeah, so next turn he's going to hit with this plus uh, Caldra. So he actually shuffled the Caldra. And now he found it again. Okay, so let's get this just in case we can top deck uh, snuff out. And there's ch there's a chance, uh, a small chance. Where's what we top deck here? Boom, nothing. GG. Uh, okay, so that was pretty bad. I think uh, I have to I have to plan my sideboarding strategy better against uh, Delver Blade because so many angles. I am not sure uh, how I want to board. So we are two two playing for the we playing for the last uh last match of the day and for the PT chest. Is there an elves deck that uses more utility lands? Mm, no. No, I don't think that we have older versions of uh, of reclaimer elves. Uh they run they used to run Caracas, Wasteland. But Wasteland right now is completely out outclassed by Boseju. Uh I tried one stream, I tried you have it on my YouTube. I tried uh, Golgari Rot Farm to bounce the Boseju. So you could rotate Boseju, then the next turn rotate for a Golgari Rot Farm, put the Boseju in your hand and use it. That was pretty neat. Uh other thing we have tried like a month ago, we tried um, Ulfa Saga in the sideboard to get to Tutor for Pithy Needle, uh, Shadow Spear, and that's it. And any other utility lands I can think of? Cabal Pit, Caracas, Wasteland. Um, Ibnu Ribulet was a thing when we were trying to fight Doomsday. But now that matchup is, uh, we don't need even the anymore. 
Um, and I think that's it. <laughs> if you think that's not enough, something things that we can try and play are um, Maze of Eth. I wanted to test for some time Javi Maya too, but the other Javi Maya. Um, Boof. Uh, a ver. Yeah, I wanted to try that one. Um, of course, there are some elf deck. Uh, of course, there are some elf deck with with Javimaya, a uh, Cradle of Ro Growth, the Green Urborg, and Arbor Elf. So you make your cradle be forest, and then you untap it with Arbor Elf. I saw this for the first time on Red Duke stream. Oof, this hand. I don't think we can keep this because even if we hit land, we don't have a way to ramp mana. I think this is a mulligan. This is better. Yeah, sounds like very big mana, right? Okay, we are on the draw against an unknown opponent. Oh, never mind. According to my spreadsheet, he plays Grixis Delver. Oof. Okay, this looks like combo. Everything looks like combo, I think. Okay, so I think we just ramp from one. We still don't know if this is... Gri so according to my spreadsheet, is Grixis. But this Preordain, I'm getting combo vibes. So let's see. <laughs> More combo vibes. Is there any deck that beats Delver more or less easy? Yes, I can show you after the game. When we finish the league, I, we can talk about the metagame if you want. I can show you my master file. With all the percentages. But I think the natural predators of Delver... Uh, um, right now, I think they are... Like off the top of my head, I would say... Lands... D and T, and probably Moon Stompy. So this is this has to be combo, right? Okay, we're going to play three elves. He possess you up and pass the turn, and if he does nothing next turn, we kill him. So off the top of my head, I would say Moon Stompy, Lance, and D and T. The best dex position against Delver. I feel you, bro. Do you play with perfect heart or regular uh, the, the the inner sleeve? W which one do you use? Uh, perfect, perfect heart or normal? Ah, esto es un temazo, eh, ojo. Perfect size and normal leaves. Imagine playing with, per with perfect heart. If you play foil, I recommend you getting perfect heart because the, the perfect heart help to, um, to straighten the, 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 the card. So you know, you know the pr Pringle effect, right? From the foils. So the, what is this? What is this? Two island. Okay, wait, wait, wait. What's going on? This is ant.
What Doomsday, bro? Doomsday, really? It's Ant, no? Okay, so if he... Okay. So if he plays a LED... He has the natural kill? Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh, yes, yes. No chance for me to crack the LED because he holds priority. Past in flames. Interesting. Okay, if he plays the LED now. Ah, never mind because he doesn't need the hand. Yeah, we died. We are super dead. Some Doomsday Lists play Cabal, not, not all lists. Now the question here is, can he fizzle? So 9. And the 10th spell is uh, Tendrils and GG. Yeah, GG. Okay, luckily we have some... Some sideboard cards against this, this matchup. So we have two traps, Endurance... The ca the goblin bus and thought seizures, and we cut uh, grist. We cut uh, glimpse um, and three two vicios. Yeah. Is is Ant worse for you? Yeah, I think Ant is the strongest combo deck, if you ask me. You ask me. Like, for example, I know Newton struggles a lot with Tess and Tech. I usually get more random wins against Tess and Tech, but maybe it's because I... You, not today, but usually I run Force of Vigor. Um, but I think Ant is... Ant is very strong. Super strong. Yeah, I don't think we can keep this against Ant. Now this is something else. So we're keeping this and we're bottoming. So double send it means collect the roof. So since we're gonna Yeah, I'm gonna put down the reclaimer even if it sounds crazy. Because we're gonna the turn one is going to be thought says. By Tess? No. The 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 best performing storm deck right now is and specifically demonic tutors. Lately, has the most top eights and multiple challenge wins. Okay, so at the end of the day, it was the same. <laughs> so, Thoughtsy's opponent, show me what you've got. Oof, a ver. So he has Chain of Vapor. Doesn't have much more. Hey, thank you for the raid, 90s MTG. Welcome, everybody. Thank you so much for the raid. I appreciate it. Welcome, everybody. Um, We're just wrapping up a league with elves. And on our last matchup, on our last match, uh, we're playing against Ant, the Eternal Villains. So, trying to decide here, this is turn one of game two, and we're trying to decide what to, what to get off their hand, really. So I almost want to get so I'm between the Dark Ritual and the Chain of Vapor, because we have double green sun, right? Welcome, welcome everybody. Thank you for the raid. Appreciate you guys. If you follow the channel, you have free emotes at your disposal. Okay, so what do we get here?
So I think Ritual gives them the most odds of killing us if they get something good of the Brainstorm or Preordain. And Chain of Vapor just delays. So I think I'm going to get the Ritual here. Yeah, let's, let's, let's try to not die. <laughs> not dying seems like a good plan. Let's see. It's really, it's really close. I think it's really close. Okay, so Misty Lotus has to be what? Burden? What? Okay, Thoughts is book. Thoughts is off the top. He's gonna get that as seen it, most likely. I mean, he's super short on mana. Yeah, I think I think it was a good. I think the ritual was the good pickup, really. So we have we're we're playing now with perfect info so far. Ooh, 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 ooh I like that. I like that. So should we play the hears now? No, I think we, I think this turn we have to ramp. I think this turn we ramp, and so we force them to chain either the hears or or the collector. Of. Yeah, try that. I mean, they, they, their hand is basically nothing. Bueno, 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 TNT. If we don't win with this song, guys, we don't win with any song. Mm, 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 mm. Vale. Perdón. Ok. So what what would be the worst it could happen? Because you don't have a lot of mana. Like the best thing for them would be like what? Like uh if they play the talisman, get the talisman, a wish claw. But I don't think this deck this version plays it. Like double game one we saw double island. Double island put me a little bit off. Oh, that's really good. But they still think we go for oof. Well, oof, well, ul, oof, and here's are. They go, they go against each other, right? Okay, so let's, let's, let's do this. Let's play oof. Let's play oof. Let's make him waste, use the chain of vapor to bounce our oof. And then after that, we play the hears, we exile a few times, and then and then we we try to crew it, maybe. Does anybody know if if um, if collector Oof stops crewing? I don't know if it's an active ability. Because it usually acti activated abilities have um, do double 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 dots. It do it does stop it. Okay. Thank you. Yeah. So I didn't think about this. So. So if he uses the chain on the on the collector roof. Yeah, yeah, maybe we play this. I don't know. If you create it will be zero zero. Yeah, yeah. I mean I have to I have to exile a few cards first, but I'm um we saw uh we saw a chain of vapor from our opponent, so I'm counting they they are going to bounce my collector roof at some point, like before going off. So maybe when they bounce it, I, I make the swap with the hears. <laughs> Alright, let's see what he's got. Be honest, guys, I'm I'm still I'm still tired uh, from the Lance matchup against Ali. 
Ähm... Ja, yeah, I guess we get Infernal here. Did he shuffle? Okay, he knows the top of his deck. What could be what could the top be? So he can go Helvet naturally next turn if we discard. So I think I'm gonna take the Infernal and make him make him use it, make him just chain me. Not play the Hears yet. So if we take Yeah, I think I mean I don't know what he could have in the top of the library. That's like the most He shuffles, nice. Okay, he hasn't chain end of turn, and he's already at 11. I'm missing now my Reclaimer. <laughs> to apply some pressure. Oh, put the back. Wants to bump? No. Brainstorm. I mean, it could be anything, right? So he should be looking for. Uh, what? Another Infernal? So he can LED... He can bounce LED Infernal? Yeah, okay. Yeah, we don't want to bounce anything. Yeah, end of turn bounce, never. it's never good news. <laughs> Lol, he concedes, okay. So he is waiting for the draw step? Nice. Okay, so going going into game three, do we still want this uncollector in the same in the same like at the same time? What would you guys do? Like, I think this is a pretty good tool to keep their cavalry uh, cava, rituals in check. But yeah, this this matchup you, we usually are rushing for the collector of. Early on, so I don't know if we really want the hears here. Maybe it's just a better idea to bring in some elves so we can like threaten the the Dino Bash plan a little harder. What do you got? What do you think, guys? No, no, choke is too slow. No, not really. Choke is very slow, I think, for this matchup. I mean, it's possible, but I mean, we okay, so you have to consider that we are already we already have um okay, wait so we already have a lot of uh, eight tier cards against this matchup. It's uh four discards to two traps. Uh, so this is just and, and the endurances to to check the graveyard. Also, what are the chances that these two meet at the same time in the board, right? I don't know if they're that so high. I do like to keep my elf count high, so shepherd kill is a thing to, to be aware of. But I don't know. Like, usually on this matchup, you want to check the graveyard. We're going to be on the draw, too. Yeah, I think on the draw, I'd rather have more elves and an insect. So, 
So if one is shutting off other, it's probably okay. Mm, okay. Well, this is a keep. Yeah, the problem is, like, you, we are actively looking for oof, right? So, it, yeah, I mean, the previous hand was more or less like you described. So we kept a Thotsis hand and double double seen it. So we ended up going for the oof, and then we top deck the the goblin bust later. So. Okay. It's a good draw. Uh, do we want more land? Probably not. Uh, oh no. And we don't have Arc on because I am a stubborn person. <laughs> I think we still get Cradle, to be honest. Okay. Let's think. So it's uh, Preordain. What do you do with the Preordain? Okay, they were top top on the Scry. So if the top card is like a tutor, if the top card is infernal tutor, what happens? They draw tutor. LED? I think it's either LED or ritual again. But yeah, if the top card is tutor, LED is the like the like enabler. Take the ritual and plan to not order hoof. Could take the ritual. So if we how how long how long it's until we can natural order? Can use ritual always with pif? Yes, but do you have to get to I mean you have to get to four mana. Four mana it's if we if they give us four turns. I think I think I think LED opens up more lines than than that ritual on this hand. But I'm I'm afraid of the scry to top top. So if the, if one of the top cards is like if one of the top cards is infernal, mm, I'm going for the LED. But 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 I think could be wrong. Could could likely be wrong. Or maybe they just put another LED on top. Who knows? Let's see. So yeah, they play the island. Ponder. Please be ponder shuffle. <laughs> that would be great. Okay, so we can right, we can turn two, buy you, play the two guys, and next turn we just have to our order for a hoof. So we can we have a turn three hoof, which is not bad. Um, but if we are really, if we are really aiming for a hoof, for for a collector hoof, then we shouldn't have gotten the LED, as Lunil said. So I think that this maybe the good, the best thing to do would be just get crater hoof and put them to lower life so they can't announce them. Okay, I like that. Well. They chose not to shuffle, so probably I don't like that. <laughs> ah, on second thought, that's more creatures is always nice. So we play these two. Uh, next turn we can deal 16. No, I think I think they have to do something now. Like right now. Right? So next turn we play Druid, play Cradle, Cradle Taps for three, Bayou Taps for the fourth. We suck Druid to Natural Order, three attackers, that's 16 damage. So they go to Virtual to three, plus any fetch they want to make. Like, 
I mean, we could die right now. Don't get me wrong. So I don't want to see LEDs or tutors cast here. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, fetches. Okay, I guess. What is this new card? So it's Wilson Refined Grizzly for two mana, two two. Can be countered. Vigilance Reach Trample Ward two. What the hell? Is this card real? Okay, he actually is passing the turn. Let's go. Okay, now that's 19 damage. Yeah, we got it. I think we got it. That should be 19. Sir. Uh oh, bounce. He stopped. Ah. He could bounce the hoof still, and it would be plus three plus three. So if he has a chain of vapor, he can probably live through. He's floating blue. No, he's floating blue. Oh my god! Did we misplay this? No, I jinxed it. <laughs> Okay, at least we put him at some that, uh, like, you know. Okay, so plus three, plus three. Should be something. If he goes up now, Sam, he's gonna have a hard time. Missing the big hoof here. All right. That was not not cool. <laughs> Buy you the plim green. So this is not the uh, stock ant list, I guess. Uh this brainstorm did he use it? Yeah. Yeah, who was who was sent home? <laughs> they decayed it. Yeah, I guess they're not going off this turn either. Okay. Well. Um. Let's not get greedy. Hmm? Let's not get greedy. So let's get collector roof and keep and keep bog up. Right? Yeah, I think that's the line. So let's go get collector. And we can we can afford to bash with the shepherd. Uh, should we bog preemptively? No, no need to. They pass? Okay, so I really want to attack with Reclaimer. Okay, so let me let me see. If we get an Arbor Krill Taps for 
4, Arbor, Arbor gives mana, 5, 3. If we, if we rotate for Arbor, we can cast Hoof right now. What would you guys do? Go go for the arbor and cast hoof or go or go for the safe line and bog them and tap. I guess it's the same. We can dino bash them next turn, so we don't need we don't really need the hoof here. Yeah, we don't really need the hoof. Right? So three, one, two, three, yeah. Okay, so we get rid of that. Yeah. I mean, it's the same, but... No, not, not the same. Not the same. This is better. Nice. Let's go! We beat we beat ENT. Yoohoo! That's a personal personal enemy for me. <laughs> okay, uh ba -ba 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 -ba. what turn was that again? That was turn five. Okay. Uh who was asking about the best Delver matchups? Let's uh, let's go analyze that. So it's pretty late. I don't know. I don't. I don't think I will play another league. So we can talk a little bit if you want, guys want. Let's check um, this. This. Okay. So let's go to here. Main meta game file. Yeah, it was weird. I agree. Okay. So uh, guys, can you read it properly on one twenty-five percent? This is readable for you. Or even 100. Can you read that on 100% or is it too small? Okay, you, you guys tell me. So, Delver. We can go Delver. Oops. I fixed that date. Uh, where is Delver? Here is Delver. Okay. So, in order to see who... So, okay. So, I think it would be the same. To say it's it's a good Delver matchup or it's a bad matchup for Delver, right? So here, for example, as we said, Blood Moon Agro has the opposite. So this deck has so this is the win rate of Del of this against this. So this is the opposite of this number for this deck. So this is uh, Blood Red Delver against Blood Moon, sixty percent win rate for Blood Moon. Um. On a quite big, the sample size is quite big. It's twenty matches, so I would say it's a, it's a good, good, good sample size. Reanimator also favorable matchup. Lance favorable matchup. Oops. Um, four color control favorable matchup, obviously, because it's basically like a control deck that has big creatures, removals, like good spells, right? And it plays off with basic lands, so makes sense. I think this de this deck was actually built to made to kill Delver. Grixis control, very good Delver matchup apparently uh, on thirteen mat uh, of thirteen games. Jeskai control, okay Delver matchup, fifty nine percent. Jorion Senit, I think Jorion Senit, so. Jorion, I think many people on the data collection we can make some mistakes, and I think four color control and Jorion Senior, I would most likely put them on the same category. Uh, four color control um, doesn't run that much, that many basics, but runs more answers. And Jorion Senior runs the Senior package for creatures. Yeah, I, yeah. Uh, well, if that helps to sunk down Delver, I, I, I'm happy. You know. So format the format is healthier if there's no only one deck super dominant deck. Okay, we keep going. Cephalic breakfast, slightly favorable. 
I would say almost on pair because the the sample size is four five, so it's almost fifty percent. Uh, green white depth fifty percent, painter fifty percent, and fifty percent doomsday slightly favored for do for blue red. And I think I think the reason between this and this, I actually was playing the showcase uh, with my friend Rodrigo Torres, and he mentioned some very good point. That is, and as multiple spells you need to you need to counter during the combo turn, like um, you you know you have to counter the mana, the payoff, the LED. What do you have to counter? So where, where, choosing where you fight is really important. While on Doomsday, basically, if you fight for Doomsday, you know you are okay. So I think because this is more straightforward, where where um, the timing of when to fight, um, Delver is better on this matchup. While against Ant, you need to know the matchup a little better. Uh, Ruby Storm 50%, da, 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 da. this very small sample size, very small sample size. And we get to the big, big winners, I think, which would be DNT. Very close. I would not say it's fa it's favored. Like super slightly favored is fifty five percent for DNT. Um, but of a very big, um, very large um, sample size. So I think this number is pretty, pretty okay. And then. Well, yeah. So I guess the I guess the most the most the most uh, favored would be DNT, um, Jurion Zenith, Grixis Control, Four Color Control, Lance, Reanimator. I think basically graveyard strategies. So here you see graveyard strategies all have positive matchup against Delver. Probably because Delver is not targeting them, and that is the only reason. But that, and then the then the boogeyman of the format right now is a Blood Moon Agro running the goblin the goblin buses. So that card is really good against Delver. So I that's a good. Of course, it's they play Chalice, they play they play Moon, they play Trinity Sphere, they play he, uh, the goblin bus now. So it's a lot of cards that are are high impact against Delver. So I hope that answers your question. Um, what is this guy? Freak125. I hope I was not talking alone. <laughs> um, and something very interesting that happened this weekend is this. So during the last, the challenges from the last week, um, control was had higher higher numbers than than Delver. So this this curve here was very and for me was interesting. So the most played deck changed for one week from Delver to control and then it came back to Delver um for the showcase, which makes sense. And also I think we talked about this at the beginning of the stream, but also eight cast. Eight cast um for me a big surprise coming back to the showcase because the Kappas are 10 ticks. <laughs> Hopefully that's the reason. Okay, we're gonna wrap it up here. Thank you, everybody. Is there no painter? Yes, it is. Sorry. Painter. Do you want to know painter matchups? Or painter versus Delver? Wait. Painter should be on permanent combo. Okay, here it is. It's uh so sample size is 4-2 and it's 57%. So I think it's pretty close. I would say equal, equal, equal matchup. Any other question, anybody? We're going to finish the stream here. Let's find somebody to raid. So we are the only one playing Legacy. Um, so would you like me to send you to Modern or Pioneer? Let's see who is streaming where. Okay, let's go to MTG category. Oh, never mind. It's uh, Ed. It's uh, Ed is streaming, so we're gonna rate Ed. <laughs> no question asked. Okay. So thank you, thanks everybody who came by. 
Thanks to Johnson. Thanks to 90s MTG for the rake. Thank, thanks to Philosopher99. Thanks to Olep Sobak. And that's it. Uh, that spreadsheet is mine, but I can send you. You can you can read it, not not edit it. There it is. You are interested. But it's all it's all thanks to the data collection group. So if you want to join the Patreon to help or the Discord, um, it's a it's a, um. um it's a free project, no, no free, um, how to say. So we do this um, for free. Um, Patreon helps, but uh, it's a lot of work because you have to take all the data from the replays of the challenges. Sometimes you have to stay for maybe, if you are playing the challenge, then you have to stay maybe for one or two hours extra. So it's a lot of work, but um, for me, it's really, really nice because it helps a lot of people and I do enjoy taking all the data too. So. Yeah, if you play the challenges or you know anybody playing the challenges, you can send the link of the Discord and they can hopefully help us uh, for the upcoming events. That being said, that's the end of the stream. Thank you, everybody, again. And I'm going to raid my good friend, um, Demonic Tutors. Uh, hopefully, we'll see each other on Thursday, uh, 6 p.m. European time. So you can uh, hit me. You can. You are welcome to come by that time. Uh, Stencil, uh, send me private on Twitch, please. See you next time. Thank you, everybody. Bye bye.